I, I fucking... Uh, yeah, we're on. Oh, we're on? Yeah. Uh, I, uh, you know, it's like, I remember we, we were struggling, man. Oh, yeah. We were fucking struggling. We can only afford oh, the $11, yeah. you know, Japanese dish. The, only, the, the only sign of success mm. in my life is that, uh, yeah, occasionally I order an appetizer without panicking. We get the sushi. We get the karage. Yeah, we still go to like we get cheap fucking, sushi places. Yeah, you know, I'm not. We're not going to fucking these these no fucking sushi. twenty dollar roll. Who gives Fuck a shit? That. It's all farm raised fish. Yeah, it's all fish that like is living in its own shit. Yeah, you know that. You realize that? Like I you get wild caught fish, all the all these they're, fish, they're, they're living off their own shit. They're parasite free though. Quite good. You ever gone to one of these fishing places in L.A. where the fish are starving? They no. starve them all in a you lake. Go to fish farms. No, you can go. You can go fishing in L.A. You can go to like Toluca Lake. Oh yeah. And you yeah. can like oh, we're gonna fish, and you bring your little knapsack, and they give you a pole, and all the fish are they're they're in a, a hell. Yeah. The fish are like they're like in a in an Auschwitz of a lake. <laughs> And they're all starving, and so they immediately bite, and you catch like a hundred fish, and then you take. Oh, them like home. at a hatchery? No, I mean, no, like a little pond. It's like, in a, LA. it's like a big fake lake that they starve fish in, and then you, you come and and you pretend like you're, you know, you, you're yeah. at, the, at the local lake in your hometown. Yeah, you you're in Andy like, Griffith. Yeah, me, yeah. me and my friends broke into a fish hatchery one time when we were kids. Did you and fuck we, the fish up? We no, we just fished. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, you didn't pay the fee to fish? You can't. It's not oh, for fishing. It's a fish hatchery. Oh, oh, it's right. got barbed wire around it, and we like clipped the barbed wire in the middle of the night. We jumped over, and then we just like cast a rod and just sat there. And did you catch? Immediately upon casting, uh, there was a huge bite. And we got like a fucking five pound giant fish, and we just bailed. That's like that's like a, it was a perfect heist. It was like Ocean's Eleven for retard. That's like breaking into the L.A. Zoo, like to be to be a poacher. You like kill a rhino. Yeah, you just shoot yeah. a rhino with the head. You shoot a rhino right in the head, and you take you put it back in your in your jeep. You drink a gin and tonic with your safari hat. You say that, but they dehorn the rhino at the L.A. Zoo because of that. Because people come in and no, want to steal its, its horns. The, the, how much that rhino Because they could sell the horns. I don't know if it was dehorned before Man. it got there, but the one rhino they have there doesn't have a horn. There's no way they dehorned it. They dehorn it? No, not not no. the LA zoo. Maybe. Well, they, they don't need the they don't need the horn, and I think it'd be like I mean, we're talking how much is a rhino horn? Rhino horns are like days? the catalytic converters of the animal world. Yeah, of Africa. <laughs> they steal they steal the horns, they take them down to the diamond district and they sell it for fucking a, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Let's see, how much is a rhino horn? We should I, get I bet one. they're like 150k. Don't you I own don't. one? Don't you shove one up your ass every night? Very good, right, yeah, folks? Yeah, huh? Yeah. Come on, Very it's always good. hot. Fuck here. myself. It's yes, always hot. Devin. John's gay. John's gay. It's it never gets old. It never gets old. We do great work here. Very good. It's sixty thousand dollars a pound. So wait, what's the so pound? Rhino horn's got to be sixty pounds. No, sixty. A, a fucking black rhinoceros. Look thing? it up. That's fucking oh. insane. There's, I bet it's like eight pounds. The black rhinoceros is the the horns are fake. It's a weave. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Devin's out of his mind You're today. Crazy. He's been crazy since we got here. Before we started yeah. recording, what did I do? You've just been wacky and. Uh, God damn it. Uh, you guys are the ones hyper. Uh, you, you, I should have given you that Red Bull. Well, okay. I don't know what's going on with you. I mean, I, that was a good joke. That was not good. Rhino horn weave, black rhino. Come on. Okay. So a big ass rhino <sighs> horn. Really a big ass rhino horn's worth around four hundred thousand dollars. So I said one sixty or yeah, was so yeah. So they should dehorn them. Yeah. They, well, you're probably right. It's sad though. It's like sitting there. No, like they dinosaurs. rescued a dehorned rhino. If the LA Zoo That's ripped the fucking rhino's too. horn off, you know well, how they don't crazy rip it. They just saw be? it a little bit. No, the LA Zoo would get fucking like so canceled it'd be nuts. I saw. Uh, uh, like, uh, have you been there? Ever? Uh, maybe when. Yeah, actually, I have when I was like fucking, young. It's fucking awesome. Why would the zoo get can They should get canceled for having animals in cages. Yeah, yeah but if they start fucking that. torturing. Why are them? they worried? Oh. Of, it's, uh, I mean, don't they defang the, the fucking the tigers and shit like that, or no. claw them, or don't they declaw animals? Nah, That's zoo, like cats, man. I don't know. Who cares? Zoos Fuck. get away with shit that like SeaWorld can't because there are so many animals that need to be rescued that right. can't live. Whereas, yeah. like, SeaWorld is a lot more of them just, like, stealing fish that would be fine. Right. I still think zoos are fucked up. But they I, are. No, it makes me sad to but go. But I, I don't care. I like it, actually. I go to the zoo I, I go to the zoo just to make sure they're still locked up. <laughs> I just stare right at them. 
like, oh, that's right. I checked the bars. I go, yeah, you keep this monster in there. <laughs> you're you're of scared the, of animals. Huh? They should take all the bears. Oh, so we can finally go have fun in the woods. Put them all in cages. Fuck these bears. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was at the LA Zoo, and they told me that a lot of the exotic pets they have there were taken from, like, cartel leaders when mm. they impound their planes in L.A. or something, or they have their house in L.A. Oh, yeah. They'll just walk in there. There'll be, like, a Komodo dragon there, and the sheriff's department doesn't know what to do with it, so they just give it to the L.A. Zoo. Yeah, Komodo they've been dragons. eating, like, 40 pounds of ribeye every day, so it's like, yes. you release them into the wild. <laughs> yeah. They're fucked. Yeah, they uh, they smell horrible, man. The Komodo Komodos? dragons, you smell them a mile away. Yeah, there's just it's, it's, smell it's, like shit. It's just an old white woman. A caraway? <laughs> you ever see a caraway? It's like a it's like an ostrich. It's terrifying. It's like a velociraptor. A caraway? I think it's called a caraway. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's like, you it's asked- got the blue. It's like a big blue rooster with the fucking beak, the yeah. giant beak. It kills the fuck out of people all the time in like the Samoa Islands. It's like literally like something the size. It's a little bit smaller than an ostrich. It's probably like the size of like you, mm-hmm. and it's like a big bird with giant claws and a giant beak. But it's like probably related to dinosaurs and yeah, shit. for sure. It'll One kill you. It'll yeah. kill you. You sent me that bird once, and you were like, "Oh, these things are like they kill people. Like they kill thousands of people a year." Yeah. I looked it up and it was like three deaths a year. From so. birds? That's still a lot. Bro. From what type of bird? It's Big like a bird. giant fucking ostrich, but it's got bigger claws mm-hmm. and a huge fucking beak. Yeah. What, how do you spell it, John? Okay, I want to say caraway, but I don't know what it is. Just like go ostrich and then type in like caraway. It's smaller than an ostrich. It's smaller than an ostrich, but, but it's, it's like it's deadlier, I think. It's deadlier. Uh, a car- that, that's the first picture there. That, this this those fucking things. thing? Yeah, those things will fuck you up, This man. fucking thing? Looks yeah. like a punk Get a rocker. video. Get this, a is tur- this is turning into Joe Rogan's podcast. It's like dude, this thing will random. fuck you up, dude. Imagine dude. this thing coming at you. <laughs> Imagine this thing versus a chimp. Imagine bro. this thing coming at you, just like... <laughs> <laughs> like Joe Rogan just always doing animal noises. Uh, caraway Ostrich. I love watching animal attacks. Remember I hate, what, I hate remember birds. Watching, uh, I don't have respect for birds. I know Ben's all obsessed with his birds. birds are cool. like, I really don't get birds. They have no... They're, they're, they're flying reptiles to me. That's that's like something you do to replace a terrible addiction. Like, Ben replaced yeah. his, his crippling drinking problem with, like, I'm going to look at birds and classify yeah. them and talk about birds. Yes. It's, it's something a guy it's who a loses a baby does. He's, he's, <laughs> exactly. It's something a guy who, like, You're, my baby just died. It's I'm going to get a bird watch. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. He's fucking... He's he's like he's uh, they're coming into his house and he's 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 letting them on his finger apparently and he's releasing them he's like what? fixing them it's like insane he's gonna get sick he's, you're not supposed yeah. to touch birds it's creepy he's like a, it's 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 uh, he's like a weird you know four chan Jeremiah Johnson <laughs> it's like Snow White <laughs> he's like, all right so here's the oh they're cassowaries cassowaries uh do you remember when animals attack Oh, fuck oh, they're yeah. killing people. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. It's a moment of crisis. <laughs> Look at that fucking attack. thing. Not from a human being, but from a bird. <laughs> A bird called a cassowary, just like the one behind me. It's yeah, known dude. as the most dangerous bird in the that world. That looks like a small one, unless he's on a hill. They're all about that. Why does it so, doesn't look that bad? The dinosaurs featured in Jurassic World. Stand down. <laughs> Who would keep such a oh, that creature? That one's big. Damn, man? dude. This man did. 75-year-old Marvin Hajos of suburban Gainesville, Florida. His urgent he died? Call to he died like a bitch. came after he was attacked by his pet cassowary. In a fight between Cassidy and the only and bird Dan, that's a member of Die Antwoord, <laughs> didn't stand a chance. Somehow, Hajos was able to call a friend, who then placed his own call to 911, urging police to get there quickly. He sounded really frantic on the phone. All he said was send an ambulance, send an ambulance, send an ambulance. Zookeeper Debbie Morganson uses a rake, especially during breeding season, when the birds are protecting their eggs. Whoa, the main thing dude. you worry about is their the eggs green. most deadly weapon. She's correct. Cassowaries Jesus. don't bite. They use their claws, Ugh. which can grow four inches long. God. This guy uses a thick shield to protect Look at this shit. It's attack. like 300. It's more like running at you and, and kicking Damn, you bro. and jumping at you with those with those feet and like a velocity. Well, he, he was, was kind of doing that Steven Seagal, like I'll fall with the, the yeah. attack to make it look like He's it's doing judo. crazier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, why, why do we got to keep them around if they're so dangerous and they're so look, mean? Look at this fucking guy. Is this guy? (laughs) Life expert Jared Miller says the dead man might have made a mistake. It's a situation where a little slip up like like a trip and fall definitely gave. Uninvited, Jared Miller showed up to the studio to call him a fag for getting killed by a bird. (laughs) Oh, man, man. These people own these exotic pets. They should all... uh... Yeah, I don't just get killed. I know, just it's it's dogs or nothing for me. I mean, these people that own anything besides a dog or a cat. It's weird. What about a hyena? 
I see. Uh, I bet no for Devin. I don't think a si- uh, who has a hyena. Is that even? I don't know. Can you can you domesticate sick, a hyena? I want a big. I want a giant ox, and I want a hyena. I bet a hyena is similar to a wolf in terms of yeah. getting it, uh, domesticating it. Yeah. Maybe maybe there's a guy out there that like he's just never made anyone laugh in his life, so he domesticated a hyena and he just he thinks he's killing well, it. Well, Brendan Schaub should get. Brendan Schaub should his crowd should be full of hyenas. Uh, male hyenas, uh, their dicks they look like pussies. You can't like differentiate because like they they go in. Okay, and uh, oh, wait, uh, you are you you seem upset by this. I'm, well, it's actually that was just, like, <laughs> he goes, dude, it's a fucking rip off. Dude, it's don't like, buy a people fucking don't even fucking understand trapped. like how I got gypped by this hyena dealer. <laughs> and they they fucking it's got the strongest bite of any land. I mean, where the fuck is the cock on this thing, dude? Yeah, it's a, I think they got the strongest bite of like a, any mammal in the animal kingdom. Hyenas, hyenas, yeah, yeah, because they break through bones and people shit. that own like. I mean, there's a lot of weird exotic animals people domesticate, but I'm always like, I, I was watching Planet of the Apes earlier before you guys got here, mm-hmm. and uh, people that are like comfortable around monkeys, like I know they're awesome. Monkeys are awesome. Yeah, monkeys are Apes cool. are awesome. Chimps, whatever. But they can't they just snap at any moment and yes. bite your head off? Yes. Rip yeah. your face to pieces. Even when they're like, even when they're raised by the guy and the guy, you know, yeah. they love their owner, they still can snap, right? Like a yeah. like a lion or these tr- tigers that people own. Yeah, right? it's like having a roommate, and but instead of arguing, it doesn't know how to like argue. It just rips your face off because it's pissed. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, the famous yeah. example of the lady uh, with the famous nine one one call, best call phone call ever. Probably the best phone call ever made. Yeah. Maybe it's like the Mel Gibson tapes and then the chimp attack. The yeah. Ma- yeah. Uh, but so she was uh, best phone call ever made. It was, a, it was a, one of the worst moments in anyone's imagine, life ever. Imagine Mel Gibson getting attacked by a chimp. <laughs> He's uh, calling that, would, it a fucking, that would take number one. Yeah, yeah. calling a chimp a kike. <laughs> <laughs> He's like those bananas are fakers, baby. <laughs> Uh, but um, so she was giving her chimp wine and Xanax and stuff, and she would like eat dinner with it. She'd bring it to the oh, dinner table. Oh, she was like a wine mom. With yeah, her, she yeah. was like a Calabasas wine mom with yeah. her chimp. No, the, uh. she would pour the chimp wine and give it Xanax and like just kind of treat it like her best friend. Yeah, and then her other best friend showed up. Like her human best friend. Yeah. And, and the chimp was like, who the fuck is this? Exactly. Yeah, the chimp yeah. was like, are you cheating on me? That's exactly what happened. Really got jealous. The chimp got jealous. Yeah, well, that's what we think. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so then the, that's who, like, the fucking chimp ripped her face off, bit her fingers off. I think it, like, ripped her fucking yeah, it, pussy it, it apart. Fu- it fucked her. Yeah. It fucked her up bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was on Oprah her, with her new face, and it was like, oh. just, you should have just died. She, no, 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 no. The she new, lived? The, yeah, oh, yeah. She lit. Whoa, what'd she look like, dude? Her She's, new face is actually, I thought, shockingly... Face. If you go before and after... What are you talking about? The face transplant lady that was on Oprah? Yeah. She had a transplant? Yeah. Yeah, it's what fucked fuck? up, dude. She's the, it's the craziest looking... I mean, look at that. Well, are we allowed to watch the OA own... Get a picture. Get a picture. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is, uh, this is ABC. We can do this, I think. How do you know? Because we can, you can do the news. It's ABC. We always watch the news. It's ABC. February, but what if it, I thought it depended on like the company? Because uh, haven't ABC's we all pretty... news stories were allowed to? Yeah, we, I don't yeah. think we've ever gotten banned for yeah, a news story news. unless it's Vice. Let's or try, like, I guess TMZ. let's risk it. Yeah, or TMZ. Yeah. Face and on today's Oprah Fuck Winfrey Vice. show, Charla Nash revealed some of the damage. You could take the hat off. Oh, the hat. Comes oh wow. Yep. Okay. Oh, it oh, looks honey. great. It looks fantastic, that's Joey. That's before. You look great. Wow. That, wow. That's before the, the transplant. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. That's not even funny. Uh, that's that's before. <laughs> that's before. Oh my god. Is this right before she got cast in Pan's Labyrinth? Ugh. <laughs> uh, man, Oprah lost some weight. You, you were aware of that, right? I had. To wow. That Mother of God. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's before. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. It says chip oh. attack survivor shows her face. Sorry, folks that are watching. Damn, Oprah but just now ripped find that her visor after. Off. Yeah, Oprah. Jesus. Damn, Christ. relax, Oprah. Oprah's such a fucking just a tabloid. That is such a PT Barnum thing, and she's sitting yeah. there pretending like she has compassion, and she's like, "Look at the freak." <laughs> yeah, like she cares. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's like, filmed the freak. <laughs> <a> drum roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like, "Can I pop your nose?" <laughs> Uh, chimp uh, attack face transplant. Yeah. So remember how bad that looked. Okay. Oh, she looks. Oh, good, good job, lady. Which one? This one? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, they turned yeah. her into Terry Shivo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great life. Great life. But, dude, compared to the before, yeah. that is remarkably that good. Is, that she, is. She looks like a clay boy or she something. She looks like Mickey Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> she does. <laughs> oh, those are fake eyes, right? Yeah. Yeah, they got they ripped her eyes out. Look at that. She looks like she's going to be in, brec- in uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> I'm, I'm an Asian guy. I'm about to fucking puke. Look at it. Holy shit, lady. Holy if you, shit. If you get attacked by a chimp, we can turn you into a, a famous actor from the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Rooney. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm yeah. just imagining like a big meeting in the hospital with the family, and it's like a do not resuscitate choice, but it's yeah. instead of like live or die, it's like, Mickey Rooney or this or Bubble Person? Yeah. Oh <laughs> God, Deb, did you get that Lockheed Martin video I sent you? Uh, yeah, of the dude. Uh, phenomenal. I mean, explain it. It wasn't like it's not really worth watching. It's it's cool politically, but explain oh, what happened. Funny. It's like uh, this guy went to Lockheed Martin and, and they have like a big pride thing. Lockheed Martin was allowed to have a float in the Washington D.C. Pride Parade. Yeah, and they were talking about the guy goes up there and he talks about if the like cluster bombs they make are inclusive. Mm-hmm. It was fantastic. And then they escort him out. Oh, shit. like somebody, a prankster? Yeah, they're like, yeah. Do the, do, are no, they... he's not a prankster. He's like a journalist. Matt, I think his name is Max Blumenthal. He's, oh, he's a real guy. He's on, like, he's on Breaking Points and oh, shows like that him. all the time. But he was doing like a, a prank. No, not a prank. He's just like confront, asking them. Yeah, he kind of, it, he's kind of fucking with them. But, oh, but he wasn't yeah. doing a character. He was just like, hey, is this inclusive yeah, to fucking he's bomb just, people? You know, yeah. He's a fucking freedom fighter, and he's he's trying to fuck with these people at a Lockheed Martin. And they just won't get it. And, they, they, and then they immediately they escort him out and shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's basically yeah. he's making a joke where he's like, right, did the pride flags like help when the I'm people so died? I'm so glad you guys support bombs. Yeah. You know, gay people. You're fucking yeah. like bombing a wedding. Exactly. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did the, the dead Yemeni people at their wedding, did are, are they happy they died because it was at the hands of the lgbtq community or whatever. your allies very yeah yeah anyway did you get your your fucking your sisters of perpetual uh fucking indulgence indulgence or all they're all being protested right now and see uh right on at oh Stadium. yeah dude we drove there's like, by there's like there's like nobody at the game kicks ass they, they introduced them at the game dude look at this they introduced them at the game and like yeah. like yeah. nobody cares And you can't see it, but the nuns—they look like they're in the insane clown posse. Yeah, they're it's. And they look like they're in a metal band. People start booing. I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. They kind of look like their faces look like the Jewish cookies, the this, the black and white cookies. Looks satanic. It's this creepy. Explains the Catholic protesters, by the way. Kicks ass. Totally, I'm, I'm on their side. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I want, this is bullshit. There was a fucking dude walking down. There's a on the way like here. Cholo. We saw there was like a cholo with like a flat, the Vatican flag, mm-hmm. walking down Sunset Boulevard. Yeah, and I was like, that's crazy. It's like the modern Crusader night is like some dude in dicky shorts. Yeah, like, I love that shit. Like, L.A. Awesome. stand up. I was like honking. LA, I was like, we love the Pope. Yeah, it's like a guy named uh, fucking yeah, yeah Creeper. <laughs> he's, <laughs> like, he's like, respect God. <laughs> yeah, they're handing uh, out uh, fucking the blood of Christ, and it's full of hormones and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, why do they look so creepy? There's, dude, no one's there. There's maybe a total of th- of 300 people in the stadium right now. Yeah, no, like people purposely didn't come for this, and then they booed. Uh, and then here they are. Here they are. Uh, all Stop protesting Catholic outside. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're really go go woke go broke guys. Yeah, no one's at the game. Fuck yeah. They're all out front. Let's go, Jesus. Yeah. Wait, blasphemers. Oh, 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 these oh. are the guys we saw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. these guys kick ass, dude. Stop anti Catholic hate. <laughs> Hilarious. Dude, look at these banners they're waving. You I, think, here's the thing that you'd think that they would care a little more about all their kids getting fucked at church than, uh, you know, a couple of weirdos with face paint on. You know, drag queens. I gotta say, it's like you know, they're pri- the Catholics' priorities yeah. are not in order. They're real retards. Everyone's a retard. I agree with you, Devin. Yeah, no, they, they they're spending way too much time yeah. on these nuns. Yeah. Do they ever do they ever do this outside of their church and be like, Father Mahoney gave my kid, yeah. you know, a, a, a DP? <laughs> 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 do they ever care about that? Hey, Cardinal Mahoney, my kid's face still burns from his cum. Mahoney, <laughs> Mahoney. Mr. Mahoney. God, did you meet him? 
Yeah, he came to our school. Yeah. He came to our school, and he was like fucking yeah. yeah, yeah. He came to our school fresh off of like fresh off of hiding all these pedophiles. Of hiding pedophiles. Yeah. He was he he's like the he was uh, just coordinating shit. Yeah. Like he just sends them to a new church. Yeah, he's That's amazing. He he's a fixer. Three card Monty with pedophile mm-hmm. priest. Yeah. yeah, you don't even know what's going on. He's like doing the the, the game where you put your hand on a table and you stab. You, you stab. <laughs> <laughs> pedophiles. The cups with the balls. The he's cops. Like. Yeah, you don't know what's going on. <laughs> He's like that famous video of the Indian guy that keeps like serving the ice cream and then oh, keeps yeah. flipping it back up, but he never, <laughs> never actually gives it to you. No, I just like how they have big banners, like it's Kingdom of Heaven or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, let's be honest. This is great. Uh, God, you know, God bless Catholics. They got to do it. They got to pretend. Blah, 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 we love know. the Mexicans. It's all right? fake, though, you know. When you die, it's probably nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, Connor. Connor McGregor's in trouble. What did he do? Did he, from the mascot? That same night, he was accused of raping a woman in the bathroom. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Big I'm news. out of the loop. I didn't Whoa. know this. You didn't know that, Joey? I was like fully no. expecting you to be all hyped for this. You so know, I, it's, I, I'll give you good commentary on because I know a lot about the sport and stuff, but I didn't know. I've been out of the loop on like all news stuff. Lately. I'll say this. I'll say this. Listen, I'm not a rape apologist, but I do apologize for uh, people I love uh, that are accused of rape all the time. Uh, Kobe he, Bryant was innocent. He, uh, Of course. Um, like literally, uh, but, but Connor didn't do it. Really? Well, there's video now. Okay. Let's and see. It completely it. Okay. goes against her story. Oh, so this came out after her story was that she had a very, uh, Ben Roethlisberger style story. I don't know. You remember, you know, who Ben Roethlisberger is of course you quarterback. Know. No. Um, uh, but, but, uh, Ben Roethlisberger, they said like his buddies told this woman to come into the bathroom and he was there like waiting for her, you know, and raped her or whatever. Got he got off, he could, you know, big football player. You got to let him rape occasionally because they, you know, touchdowns. get it out of their system. Touchdowns. Yeah. Blowing off steam. You know, football players need to rape. <laughs> but Connor, this store, apparently what the woman said was the Miami Heat uh, security as forced her into the bathroom and he was waiting there for her. But, oh, so nobody really took this seriously at any point, did they? Yesterday they did. Yesterday, On Twitter or yesterday, something? Yesterday, Twitter, Reddit, rapist piece of shit, because they already hate Connor. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And, they nope, already, and he, already, he already, you know, bludgeoned the mascot. Yeah. So they were like, we're st- they already hated that. He's, Con- yeah. he's on a rampage, they He's think. obviously yeah. hoped <laughs> He's up. beating the he fuck is. out of mascots. <laughs> he's raping. He's on a rampage. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was in Miami. He's uh, probably, like, doing, like, insane amounts of cocaine. Oh, for sure. He's in a big, like, silk, like, track suit you know like a red silk track suit he's look he looks like the he looks like dracula yeah <laughs> and yeah. uh so they already hated him for you know the, the mascot went to uh the hospital the hospital yeah he was not it was supposed to be a total joke he was supposed to fake punch him and instead he like does the hammer fists on him like he's he's he, he like he has like cte he, like, well he was, i like, saw that video and i my take on that is that connor overestimated how much cushion were in the in, in those big masks yeah because he did a, a, like a big looping punch, and I bet you the mascot's like, "Yeah, no, you can hit me," but not realizing the power that Connor has because yeah. he's really he's like five eight or he's like you met him, he's like your height, right? I, I, I might have been taller than him. So, Jesus. so the mascot's probably like, "Oh yeah, you can swing, dude," and then not realizing that he's like an Irish freak, like his he punches yeah. like a fucking heavyweight for some reason. He takes everything personally, so even yeah, when they yeah. tell him like this is a prank, it's like it's gonna yeah. be okay. The mascot like fake swings, and he's like, "You motherfucker, you." Yeah, and then he hammer fists a guy like it's Nate Diaz. Also, at it's halftime. a huge mask. It's a huge mask. It looks like there's a lot. I'm of a little confused how that. I think that guy is looking for a payday. I don't think he's that fucked up. You might be right about that. Connor yeah. went hard on him, but I'm like, that guy's wearing a giant like fucking mouse head or whatever they, the mascot is for the Heat. But yeah, I, I don't know what the mascot for the Heat is. It's like Elian Gonzalez or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> I just put that together in my head. <laughs> the mascot for the Heat is a little tiny Cuban child in a canoe. Is it a, guy with an M- a guy with an MP5 going out the door. <laughs> and he decides the election in 2000. No, the mascot's the father holding him, going like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Connor was... So, the, the woman's story was that you know, she was led into the bathroom by the yeah. Miami Heat security. So, she's also, like, implicating the people that work yeah. for the Miami Heat. Yeah. Like, that they're... So, she's like, I'm going to sue the heat i'm suing mcgregor yeah. like she's trying to stack yeah. up a big, big lawsuit big payday and then her story was that she got away by just simply elbowing connor oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah and, connor you know, yeah connor you know yeah she could take down connor mcgregor <laughs> yeah you know? yeah yeah it's her habib yeah of course exactly you know. so this video came out today and it, it kind of seems to seems to poke some holes in her story here but hey you know innocent or whatever she who knows yeah 
Here we go. All right. Well. So he walks over. That's the alleged victim. Everyone's watching. Everyone has their phones out. He goes, come with me. And she follows him into the bathroom. Everyone's filming. Man, this guy's so fucking... And everyone's commenting on it, by the way. Everyone's like, yo, yeah. Like, they all know he's, like, getting some. And, like, she's coming with him. See, and he says, that's the Miami Heat security. They're just like, I don't know, Connor, like, needs to fuck. He's like, <laughs> yeah, they're like, keep people like, from dude, going in like, the bathroom yeah, to bother Connor McGregor. He's going to fucking fuck up another mascot, like, if he doesn't fuck somebody <laughs> right now. Like, we got to let him have this. This woman, this woman's with him. I, I don't know. So there it is in slow motion. He comes out. He's like, yeah, you come with me. He's married, by the way. This yeah. is wild. He's married, but dude, he's been in so he's had so many rape accusations. She knows the deal. Yeah, she, I, know, this, she, she knows what's she knows up. It's he an fucks open other thing. People. It's still, an open thing. I know, but even then, I bet she was like, "Yeah, you can fuck, obviously, but just don't do stuff that's going to embarrass me." Yeah, and that's a, well, that's embarrassing. Yeah, right. he's obviously he had a crazy night in Miami, dude. He was fucking on coke, and he beat he almost killed a mascot, and then he he's accused of rape. I mean, it's a wild night. That, yeah. There should be a movie made about that night. Yeah, <laughs> it's like fair. Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> the Irish version. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean... Not quite being not quite raped. Let's say that. But yeah. her his her his wife knows the deal. Yeah. I mean, I like I, I think it's open relationship for sure. But still, it's like okay, yeah, fucked in a semi discreet way. I guarantee you, most celebrities like are are in open relationships, but they're just like, hey, don't get caught. They don't want don't video make a of this. Fool out of me. It's the Carmelo yeah. Tony Soprano thing. Like, just don't let me find out. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Which is reasonable. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So this, you know, it's bad, but. I don't think he raped anybody. No, I don't. I, I I think probably she realized that on video she just fucked Conor McGregor and it's the most viral thing ever. And now she's got all these people being like, you fucking whore. Like, what? That was so gross. Yeah. yeah. And then she's like, oh, I got raped. I got raped. It was rape. Mm. You know, which, you know, it's. I don't even think it's that. I don't think it was like, oh, shame. I think she's like, oh, my God. Like, I was in her stall with Conor McGregor. He fucked me. And I, I yeah. mean, he's a fucking, you know, he probably he's probably worth like four hundred million dollars. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah probably Simple, around even there. even if there's no evidence of it, and she looks like terrible, like she'll still get something out of him. Just so he, she, I bet a lot of it was just be shame. Like, just get out of here. That's that's such a gross thing to do in front of the entire world. Yeah, yeah. and who knows? Maybe she has a boyfriend too. Yeah, and, you know, that makes it look even grosser. Oh, yeah. And the Miami Heat, they're not trying to keep her in. They're trying to keep people out of the fucking bathroom. We saw McGregor. Yes, because that's they're like, like a McGregor brain dead. Is... You're a security guard. He just went into a confined area. That's a public area. Yeah, you're gonna keep anyone out. Right. The security, I can't believe they're even being implicated. It's like the poor fucking, yeah. uh, the corrections officers that got arrested for Epstein getting killed. Yeah. Do you know that, by the way? They got him? Dude, the only people, I, I'm pretty sure, and if I'm wrong, I don't care, because yeah. I want to just say what I know, or what I think I know. I, I, there we I, go. Uh, the correct, the, these t only, I, the only two people that were arrested for the Epstein thing were two yeah. black corrections officers that Damn. were that were accused of like you know not doing their job they were looking at their cell and phones and they weren't looking and I'm sure they were told by some fucking CIA guy yeah. some good shepherd told them why don't you just walk over here for a minute or we'll kill your family or we'll kill your whole family yeah. or probably it's a lot easier to just distract them in some clever way right you just yeah. like hey like let's fuck with the tapes or like let's just put a distraction if you're the cia it's not that hard to fool some dudes that are guards sure got a sure policy. but yeah they were then they were arrested they were like charged with stuff Hilarious. they're the only they're the only people charged yeah patsy's unbelievable and no one ever talks about that. Well, Besides everybody me talked at the Hate Watch podcast. You get the news here and nowhere else. This is where you mm -hmm. get the real news. This is where we stand up for uh, for marginalized people's rights. Mm -hmm. Hey, News Nation, take a hike. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fuck News Nation. News Nation. <laughs> Fucking. God, did you guys see RFK Jr. on uh, Rogan? Good God. Now, he spoke RFK for... Jr. was on Rogan. I mean, there's nothing to watch. I just was oh. bringing it up. But what was then... he doing the voice? Yeah, like yeah, like he does it. Like <laughs> it's not permanent for him. I like how you act like he puts it on. Well, we found He's like, this is my showman voice. <laughs> He's like, okay, Joe, um, it's gonna be weird, but I'll be 
tell me before we record. Okay, before. Hey, Art, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I mean, he's great. The guy says, he basically says he's well aware the CIA could kill him for what he's saying. Yeah. The CIA killed his brother or his uncle. Um, I would vote for him, but it's but it's just it's so sad because like okay, look, you got this Fetterman guy. Where's Fetterman? Fetterman was recently somewhere. You know Fetterman, the son of Frankenstein. Yeah, he looks who like represents he, Pennsylvania. He runs like the uh, gathering of the Juggalos. Yes, yes, he does. Here, here's Fetterman. It's just <laughs> earlier today some uh, com- some comments about uh, the uh, tragic uh, accident in. Uh, 995, and if you want to make any comments with respect to that, feel feel free. You're recognized. He looks like a guitarist in Anthrax. He does. Just boy, really like the you know, the 95, 95, 95. You know, look at she's um, laughing. You know. Obviously, that you know, you're pretty much preoccupied with with 95, and I know I certainly am too. And we know it's a major uh, eatery, not, not just for for pencil eatery. Is this is like you, say, you know the the I 95 in pencil in Philadelphia? They got some great restaurants. <laughs> I love like that the, highway. The I hop off of I 95. Love the restaurants on the I 95. <laughs> but for the east the east coast. And a lot of Pennsylvanians are worried that the delays and repairs bring to its stand still. All right, it's fucked up. So the reason I brought that up is because you got RFK Jr., you got this guy, you got even Corno West. Corno West doesn't have any ailments. Like, he's he's great. Mm-hmm. I love him. I'll, I'm going to vote for Corno West, actually, if I vote. But it's just so sad that the only people, the only options we have for people that, like, say things that we actually kind of like... And we're like, yeah, that guy, that guy's saying the shit. Like, yeah. I, I like him. He seems like a good man. Even though this Fetterman guy, I think he's a good, I, I, I'm pretty sure he's, like, good. He just had, like, 70 strokes. He has, like, a stroke every three minutes. Oh, okay. So that's how it is. Uh, but, like, I'm pretty sure before that, he kind of kicked ass. He's a compassionate guy. Compassionate that, like, he, he's human. a good guy. He's what he's, like, he's one of the good ones. Sure, mm-hmm. sure. And RFK Jr., I think, is one of the good ones. Sure. Yeah. But it's just every person that we would want that we're like that guy kicks ass they always why do they always have to have some fucked up ailment right pick a go- good guy that can yeah. talk they're fucking it's like it's it, you either you get your choices are the blockbuster movies that like flop trump or biden or just like shelter dogs that everyone goes if you vote for them you're fucking up the real election yeah. like you just it's a fake vote like you just fucking everything up but it's like it sucks because like our, we should all vote for RFK Jr. But you, but you know, go well. Why can't I? Well, you. Know, oh well, he. You know, his his throat is full of tax, <laughs> and, and occasionally when he sees a TV, he bites people. Swallowed a frog. <laughs> he's, you know, he's, he's a throat full of frogs, and he gets a little weird when he's around TVs. He just bites people. He hates teleprompters. You go well. I can't, all right. I guess I shouldn't vote for him. You go well. What's the other guy that represents Pennsylvania? You go well. He has a stroke every two minutes. But he says a lot of great stuff when he can say it when he can say it when his cbd's kicking in when the undertaker comes out of his coffin and (laughs) walks to the ring with him it's just it's just who cares it's all so fucked like you know i think we talked about rfk jr a few weeks ago Mm -hmm. and he was killing it this guy is saying everything that we want him to say without the trump a bullshit, yeah. you know? The bravado, Trump says the, gold, the, the gilded Trump shit. Trump occasionally yeah. says the stuff, but RFK Jr. is just saying it all. Yeah, he's knocking like, it out of the park. Everybody that, like, wanted Bernie to win or everybody that, like, really cares about, like, a good person being president, we should all vote for RFK Jr. But you're an, you're deemed an asshole. And also then you look at, listen to him talk. You're like, God, what yeah. is with your fucking voice? What is going on? You know, it's, 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 it's is there tar in your throat? Like, what is this? It's all but rigged. It's, just, it's also yeah. rigged. It's, it's just, controlled the opposition. They're like, be- hey, let's put this guy. He's saying the shit that we hate, but we can't win because his voice is all fucked exactly. up. Mm-hmm. Let's put him. And everyone mm-hmm. just laughs at him online. Yeah. They go, yeah. yeah, wow. Imagine, have you? did you ever think there would be a fucking relative of John F. Kennedy that was just running for president openly saying, yeah, they killed my uncle? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm running for president, yes. That's so, all we've ever wanted know. is a guy like that. Yeah. 
and we all just go, well, he'll never fuck it. I mean, a great Joe Rogan experience, but you know, he'll never win. Well, now I'll never vote for him. I'd be called an asshole by all my fucking yeah. lame fucking friends that tell me, well, yeah, you're just taking a vote away from the two retards we don't want. Yeah. It's it's just, who cares? It's all right. It's who a broken system. Who cares? Yeah. Bullshit. I just don't get why they don't give these guys, like, nobody around him is being like, you talk like a retard, buddy. Can you take, like, a speech, right? Like a, like Who, a, RFK? Like a, yeah, give, like, a get like a, a He's got a real problem. Dude, he has a problem. They can't fix He's it. He's got a oh, physical really? problem. Yeah. With his He's got, like, a fucked up larynx. They can't tell, like, like, drink a lot of castor oil and, like, yeah. you know, lube that, lube that throat up. I just up. think of King's speech. They had, <laughs> gave him the marbles in his mouth and yeah, shit. Yeah, they make like, him smoke just, cigarettes. That's what he needs. Yeah. RFK Jr. should start smoking cigarettes like a fucking sick. King speech retard. It'd be awesome if he gave a speech. RFK Jr. is way better than that stuttering idiot of a king that we all had to pretend that made a good movie. I never saw that. It sucks. It was okay. It's a terrible movie. He finally gives a speech, and it's like still not even that good. He's still a stuttering idiot. Yeah. Fucking moron. Fuck Britain. I don't care about that movie. I'll never watch it. It stinks. The King's Speech. I know the movie. I just, I'm never going to watch it. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's just, there's no hope. There's no hope. I agree. And I, I, I you know. But RFK Jr. should overtake Biden as the candidate. Absolutely. Like, realistically. I'd vote for him. Oh, yeah. like when it comes to like objective issues. Yes. yes. If that were the only measure of like who we vote for, then yeah. But it's just so important that they're able to talk. It's a big part of the job. No, it but it shouldn't be. It's fake. They 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 pretend uh, he can. Why? Joe Biden falls. He just fell right now. Look at your watch. Oh, he just fell. Why? Yeah. why? Joe Biden can't speak. Why him and not RFK Jr.? Just because well, his voice is a little raspy? Just because he sounds like fucking, you know, a blues musician? I think Biden would... Got a lot worse as he got older. Like when he was campaigning, yeah. he said some stupid shit. He stumbled over words and stuff, but he was able to slow down and kind of stick to. He wasn't getting lost in sentences where he forgot what he was saying. Yeah, but still, he sucked. He's a fuck. He fucking he completely fucking flipped on everything. He, had, yeah. he was a fucking good old boy Democrat back yeah. in the day. He was a fuck. He's a fucking racist, like a war mongering retard. Joe Biden sucks my cock, and 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 he just pretends now. He wears a fucking LGBTQ patch and he takes a pic with a trans person with great tits out front of the White House. <laughs> so we all think he's like, oh wow, great. <laughs> everything is sucked under him. Okay, mm. literally. I don't care. I don't know. I don't vote. But under Trump, other than the tweets, life was a little better. Yep. Under Biden, my life is actually affected. Gas is more expensive. Yep. Homelessness is insane. Mm -hmm. Not that it wasn't under Trump, but like, he, and he also just sucks. It's like s hard to watch. Yeah, his cabinet's insane. And Kamala Harris is like an embarrassment. I mean, she's they just, all she's suck. She's the I, Joker. She yeah. just comes out on stage everywhere she goes, just like cackling. Yep. I wish I disagreed. Well, no, I don't, because people yeah. fucking hate when we argue. But uh, no, like I, <laughs> well, you have an argument. There's no argument here. Well, the problem is I don't. I mean, I don't disagree. Like they're all, but I hate them all. It's yeah. like they're all idiots. I, I guess if I had to disagree, I would say that I don't think it matters who the president is. I think it's like just sort of a, a an illusion. Here's the only thing There's I'll yeah. say: I a bunch don't know. Of lizards I don't, around I don't, in the country. Right, exactly. You're totally right, but I don't know enough about this. But I do think that if Trump was president, we probably wouldn't be at war. Or no, not, no we wouldn't be no. in this proxy war. We're not at war, but I don't think that would have happened. The gas prices are the most abhorrent things. It's as if that's another, all I care another about. Tax I could see him being cool me. with yeah. like Putin figuring that. I, I could actually. Call me crazy, like, I could see him being kind of good at dealing with Putin and shit and getting that fixed. He was good with dealing with Putin. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he was so good for... it's not that crazy yeah. to say that. As far as we know, he was better foreign policy-wise, which is literally the only thing I care about. I just don't want to know that, like, there's a possibility of a war or a draft... You know, not, I'd get out of it. I'd say I'm gay. I'd say I have asthma, flat feet. I'd, I'd, hey, what a stretch that would be. Oh. Yeah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't even bother asking John. <laughs> they'd be like, no, no, he's gay. They'd be like, don't even send him a fucking, don't even know, send him a form. They'd put me in the pride unit. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, they cut out the gay thing. I hated that when they did that, because that was going to be my excuse. Yeah. I would have walked in. There oh, yeah, now of, you can be gay. Dude, yeah, yeah if definitely. They, if I went in for my physical for the draft, when that, Honestly, when, that when that, <laughs> when you were gay, if you were gay and you couldn't be in the military, <laughs> like when yeah. they still had that as a law, like if I got drafted, I would walk into that physical with like so many anal beads in my ass. Just come on your I, face. I'd like probably get AIDS before because you could live with AIDS. I'd just get AIDS and be like, yeah, you guys, I can't. 
<laughs> I'm not making my bed and fighting for like for whatever, however long yeah. you guys need me to. You do that basic training, just sucking off everybody in the oh, bunker, yeah. just waiting to, to get anyone. busted. Every yeah. night, I'm sucking off my rifle. This is my <laughs> rifle. This is my gun. It goes in my ass and it makes me come. <laughs> just be dancing or oh, I'd be as gay as hell to get out of fighting. <laughs> it's not hard I will to get out of a draft. Never fight for this country. Yeah. I'll never fight for anybody. I don't know this country. They act like you know all 322 million people. I don't fuck. A lot of people should die in this country. I don't give a shit. I'm not fighting for them. I believe in freedom. I believe in protecting yeah. people. I would think you I'd fight? Go. I'd fight. And you I'd... would? You'd like let's just let your life be ruined because like uh, millionaire billionaires just like you know honor versus treat, bear shit. Use you as pawns. <laughs> yeah. So no, you guys love, are cucks. You guys want to be love, used as pawns by love, by the elites. I know. would flip it on them. So a pawn yeah. can actually be quite a dangerous uh, chess piece. Mm -hmm. They would le they'd think I'm a pawn, and I'd let them believe that. But th while they're moving their rooks around, and they yeah. got their fucking the the um what is that one that goes diagonal? The, the bishop. bishop. The bishop. He's going making a move. My pawn is just getting over inching, inching over, so and where? then I get a queen. Like a Once you get in the no. back row, Pawns you get a queen. Oh, so queen, you're going to be the guy that you you join the military and then you go to the White House and you fuck the the the, the first lady. No, 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 no. I'm oh, talking Joey about take Xi Jinping, bro. He'd take oh, exactly. Yeah, I, so, yeah. I I I befriend like a bunch of green berets and shit. I yeah. get a silver star. Yeah. And my fucking, they blow off like one of my hands and they're like, you, well, you can't go back to war, but I come back anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now I'm a hero and everybody respects me. And there's a little coup. Yeah. You, a lot of people die. Yeah. But when I come back to America, I'm the shit. You come back to king. Exactly. Joey would get like blown up by landmine. Those and days are over, like, buddy. They'd be like, you no, can either be, either be discharged or we're going to make you a super soldier. Those days are and over. Like, you nobody comes back a king I'm like, anymore. I go, put the machines in me. No, yeah. I can see that. <laughs> put the nano they're not, machines. Well, they're still in beta test. I go, don't go do it. Yeah, yeah. Nobody Put me up. <laughs> I go, plug me in, doc. <laughs> Robo Joey. <laughs> <laughs> and they start bolting a fucking yeah, yeah, mechanical yeah. shit like to my body. Like, exactly. And shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get that. But yeah. here's the thing. Nobody They're comes. are sponsored by White Claw. It's like, it's like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my fuel tank is just full yeah, of uh, like, seltzer. Like, <laughs> World War II is over. That's the only, those are the only veterans that will ever get treated with respect. Those days of you coming back a hero are done for. People still get. What are you talking I, about, dude? We love our soldiers. Joey would so. fucking wind up a fucking freeway off-ramp ornament. After his war, after his big win, he'd be uh, fucking hanging uh, out off, off, off the fucking off the Fairfax uh, off ramp. Here's the thing: that asking people are for money, he'd be drinking. Oh, fucking I see what you're no, saying. No, 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 no not true. Uh, this is what you're not thinking about: is the looting, right? So, say you get to go to a war in like Europe or some shit, or like some or China or anything. Still like, Saddam's like, goal say, or some yeah, shit. That you fucking. Th this is you go to a fucking. You you're in Beijing, right? We invade China or some shit. We get there. You just want to be the guy in the back that lives long enough to be one of the first guys in the big place, so that when you show up to one of those billionaires' apartments and you start opening up their shit, Got the and you find a fucking Picasso in their closet, mm -hmm. man, that shit back home. Yep, bunch of gold. You can leave. A, you can leave a pretty wealthy man. I had a buddy who was in the army, and he was like, "They got one of Uday Hussein's apartments. There's just treasure in there, and they were just mailing it all home." Also, like if you just, you know, he has like a golden pistol. Maybe it's worth yeah twenty k worth of gold. But if it's Uday Hussein's golden pistol, three hundred thousand dollars. Exactly. Yeah, mail oh, that okay. shit home. All Boom. right. Yeah, sounds like you guys have it all gold figured bricks. out. You heard the? You saw the uh, the fucking this this Iraq this British guy bought a T seventy two Soviet tank from Iraq. Sent it, maybe mailed it to England, and it was he's like going to farm. He's like a military enthusiast, and they opened up a hatch on the side of it, found three gold bricks in there. That's sick. Fucking, they hand they returned the bricks. It was like Jesus, dude. I fucking. That's what we're gonna do. Well, what do you do with that gold brick? How do you sell you, that? You, How you do melt you make it. Money you melt it that? down into smaller gold bricks so they can't trace it. Then you bring it. You just piece by piece over the years. Where do you trade it, it in? Where do you trade it so in? It's to? cash for gold. Do you go to a money mart. Cash for gold. You go there, you get a little Selling bunch. gold is quite easy. You can make a forge in your backyard using bricks. You just melt the gold. What, super some Armenian soft. guy running a shitty storefront in a mini mall is going to just like... He, buy he, your he, gold, he, yes. He gives you $100,000? Yes. Gold is yes. really? very valuable. People yeah. will buy it. Well, you know, it you sounds can like you guys have it all figured out. Good luck to you. 
Good I can't believe you. you've never thought about this. I'll be, I'll be. You're busy fantasizing about sucking off the the basic training squadron. Yeah, yeah. To get out of there. We're here thinking about gold and and glory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just never happen. You guys, you're gonna, you, you guys, guys stay, be, stay back in America. Keep the women company. <laughs> We're gonna go over while they do dishes and shit. We're gonna go. Yeah, get what a, a bunch hilarious of gold. thing to say. Yeah, I will. I'll fuck all the women. No, you, you guys won't. Go, they you won't guys fuck you they'll be like, I can't believe you're trying to fuck me when my men are looking for golden glory across the ocean. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna Can be like, you think we're gonna touch you? This is the modern day. Like, hey, women, women don't. Going, let's go yeah. get spit roasted by yeah. uh, like yeah. the generals, the real this, men. This yeah, is exactly. the modern day. My, my my boyfriend Joey just sent me a, a Chinese skull in the mail, and, and, <laughs> I, and this guy's hitting on me at the save on. Like, what do you what do you think's gonna happen here? Hey, women don't like you they don't like skulls. In what world? Those like skulls days are and over. Gold and fucking. What are you out of your mind? A blood soaked Chinese skull. Yeah, just fucking showing up in a box, dude. Oh, yes. I'd send bloody <clears throat> rags and shit. I'd send fucking bloody rags. Bloody rags. Like, yeah, this is a villain hit me with a bullet. I'd I'm send okay a now. hand. Yeah. Just yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I send eyeballs and shit. I make a <laughs> necklace of eyeballs. It looks like a Halloween prop, mm -hmm. and I send it back. I'd be like, have yeah. fun. Baby. And they're just well, like flicking their beads. Yeah, they're just like. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it works out for you guys. I'll it will. Be, I'll be You're... here. I'll be here watching uh, TV. Mm, yep. We'll come save you I'll when be we in have. Canada when, yeah. when it's time to save yeah. you. When it's time to save you, we'll, we'll be there. We'll be here in your low T. You know. Did you guys see this clip? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Okay, so this is. Uh, Ooh, is this body cam? It's really quick footage, but it was amazing. I just uh, rape suspect tries to jump out of a sixth floor hotel window in Ohio. The cops yeah. show up they're like yeah you fucking and then he tries to jump out and it's like they got him watch this amazing dude. watch this shit this kicks ass don't don't tense up man don't don't tense up man where are you going oh, oh my god. god what does he think he's spider-man hold on let's <laughs> let's watch that again did you hear the uh, don't don't tense up man don't tense up man where are you going <laughs> he even tried to rape the window <laughs> I like how the cop Isn't even fired up or mad He's just embarrassed for him He's, he's like, like oh, no, yeah. dude. Come he's on. like your life's gonna be much worse Than that moment <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude that was fucked up well, he's look, not, There's no urgency It's not like he's running over there He's just yeah. like come on man well, What, well, what really, are you gonna do if he jumps out the window The, cops, the pro cop is probably just like yeah let him jump out the window what this really Well no cause you, you have to try to stop him Legally, if you're a cop. I mean, legally, but, like, you can just be like, He's on ah. body cam. He's got yeah. a body cam, so he has to. The cop knows those windows, you can't break them. He might know that. So he's like, where are you going, retard? Although, man, like, this really that this wasn't that hard of a... Can we see the hit again? That's pretty... Where are you going? Oh, oh, that, was pretty, that was pretty That was pretty hard. He yeah. tried. He, he got his whole body into yeah, it. that was pretty he hard. scrunched up. But that proves that Stephen Paddock never, you know, yeah. couldn't break that window. He was helped. Sorry, Vegas. It's kind of crazy that like that dude is just ready to be Batman that quickly, you know. Well, when you know like, you're about to ballsy. go to prison for life for rape. I know, but like that's that's pretty like uh, I'm just gonna jump out through a window. I think he was trying to kill story. himself. Six stories. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was trying to kill himself. Yeah. Yeah. No hesitation. You know, there's like hesitation wounds with knives and shit. Like, no, it's like humans that. are naturally hesitant. It's like that guy was just full force. I'm jumping out of that window. I think in Born One or no Born Two, maybe there's a lot of Borns where guys jump out of windows. Exactly. Windows. Like yeah. Jason Bourne finally debilitated them. And I mean, then, he's a Bourne though. This guy's a rapist. That's a good point. You know, but that's like, what I'm saying. He's like a Bourne level rapist. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they probably like and they in the Jason Bourne at like Black Treadstone. They probably have like a bunch of windows set up in a room. They're like, hey, this is training. You just jump through these windows. Yeah, they're Pamela Landy's Chris Hansen. <laughs> and he's like, oh my god. He's like, is that fucking Jason Bourne? <laughs> you want some lemonade? <laughs> oh, what is this little freak? Jason Bourne? Why don't you take a seat right over here? <laughs> It'd be so funny if uh, it would catch a predator episode, but they show up and the dude's like a total badass. <laughs> oh, he like just fucking like does a sick combo and takes out like 10 men you guys see this uh, you guys see this little what is this? this little kid two men robbed eight year old selling lemonade on Manhattan's Upper West Side to donate to a nonprofit that rescues dogs taking off on scooters with 100 to 150 bucks so what they, do these guys look like they're 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 two black dudes oh. and they robbed this little fucking Adam driver wannabe I mean, he looks like a little freak. I mean, listen, I feel bad for him. Obviously, no child should be put through that. It sucks. But why is he dressed like a? He dressed like a 
It's like, it's like, like, uh, he wants to be a she. The mom really wants him to be a she. They let's like look at that shit. It's like when Spider Man got emo in. Yeah, his, yeah, his mom's already dressing him like a lesbian. It's, exactly, like a fucking like a. He looks like he does like who's on first. You know when lesbians go to weddings and they don't know how to dress. Yeah, that's what he looked. That's look. He looks like a lesbian at a wedding. Yeah. He's, he's a yeah. lesbian trying to make a statement like, hey, look, I want everybody to know I'm a lesbian. I'm a lesbian. I don't have to wear a dress. I can wear a bow tie and a suit, and I can wear a cool little hat. I mean, I'll never, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to, like, uh, be against this child. Sorry, kid. But yeah, yeah, you're yeah. On the, your, pa- your parents live in the Upper West Side, okay? You fucking, you're doing a little lemonade stand for, like, fucking stray dogs or whatever, probably because your mom is a fetish for pit bulls, yeah. and she used to fuck them. Yeah. So now she dresses you up like W.C. Fields, and you fucking, <laughs> you, you know, you, you stand outside of the Upper West Side, and you sell lemonade. It's like, you, you get what you you get what you have. He's ironically selling yeah. lemonade, too. It's, it's ironic. Like, he's, like, he's like, oh, isn't yeah. it cute if a kid sold yeah, lemonade? Exactly, and I'm sure it's like shit. Yeah. Fucking, Welcome to real life, sure dude. shitty white people lemonade. Yeah. I got, like, adaptogens it's in like it. Hibi- hibi- nearly hibi- hibi- full of yeah. cordyceps yeah, 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 or whatever yeah. the fuck. It's got, got like a weird spirulina. bitter taste. Spirulina in yeah. it. It's like, get fucking get out of here. Real life, you, you get go robbed audition by, you for know. the girls movie, yeah. okay? We, we, we get ready to fuck <laughs> Lena Dunham in yeah. her fucking you know, yeah. next project. <laughs> you fucking little fag. Anyway. <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. I would never make fun of a child, and yeah, I f- obviously Devin that's a kids. horrible moment in this kid's life. But it's funny because he look, he's just like that. His stupid parents, fuck his parents. And once I heard Upper West Side, I'm like, isn't that's like the best neighborhood in New York, isn't it? Pretty sure. I think Upper West Side of New York is like the the only neighborhood where you like can kind of almost guar- you know, not guarantee, but like nothing will really happen to yeah. you. Other than you set up a little fucking performative lemonade stand and you get robbed by the, yeah. you know, fucking the, you get robbed by the ASAP mob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys kind of lick. So what are you going to do? What are you going to fucking do? Oh, there's no video? No, there's no video. It's just pictures. So here's the, and then that's them. That's them. That's the guys that stole it. And they're like, ha ha. They're like, Yo. They're like you little mayonnaise ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What are you going to do? I chase this, you white ass bitch. Also, how about this? Lemonade stands are incredibly hack. It's it's no one does that anymore. Yeah, it's ironic. They were having it's, him it's do ironic. the lemonade stand. Ironic. It's ironic. Yeah. It's not the fucking fifties anymore. No one's like driving by like, ooh, lemonade. I, ever- ha- I ha- oh man, I'm I'm quenched. I'm quenched. I'm, uh, Willie yeah. Loman's driving by. Everyone has access to water and drinks. We're all yeah. good. We're good, kid. We don't need your fucking <laughs> good. awful lemonade, probably with a bunch of why weird. Wasn't, why was an adult with them? With him? Why wasn't a man standing That's, there with well, him? Also, who took Where this picture? Mom? Who's the sick yeah, fuck? Yeah, who's stopping? Who's the sick fuck that goes, D- how'd that feel to get robbed? How'd that feel to get robbed, little kid? T- take a picture of him? No one s- helped this child? Well, the this- fucking, if it's a mom, what is she supposed to do? Like Fucking fuck. scream her head off because there's You don't there's take a picture of your little kid ASAP Yams like is this. There. Jesus Christ, look at him. Well, you don't take a picture, but I don't expect her to chase after the... No, the you food. go. You start freaking out. Do what moms do, and they freak out when bad things are happening until the men come. If you're a rich mom on the Upper West Side... Yeah, she yelling her head no, off. No, because then you're like, uh, let, let me just make the decision to you know minimize risk of violence because I, I lost 150 bucks for uh, you know a stupid lemonade stand. Who gives a fuck? Here's the thing. The only credit I'll give to this to the parents is that they still refer to him as a little boy. They haven't gone nice. the full mile yet, and he's not like a he does he's, he doesn't like identify as a whatever. Yeah. They don't have a weird pronoun. The, for exactly. Him. Yeah. I mean, but they're still trying to dress him like a fuck like a you yeah. know like he. I don't know. Look Elliot, at that. Elliot Page. What even is here. that? Elliot Page. Is what even is that like? outfit? <laughs> <laughs> Elliot Page. Elliot Page on a lemonade. What was her, what was his it name looks like, before? It, it looks like he goes to slave Elliot, auctions. Right, right. Look at this kid. And I think he goes 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. Look at how big this one is. And even like lemonades kind of feels racist. It's like a plantation mm. vibe. Mm-hmm. Mint julep. Mm-hmm. Look at my mint julep No, stand. they might as well have been like little boys red lobster stand robbed on the Upper West Side. <laughs> they were probably like regular black guys that worked at Wall Street. And they were just like, fuck this racist shit. Let's steal yeah. their money. Yeah, you're right, Joey. These guys look like they work on Wall Street. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> these two guys in hoods with their backpacks. I have that hoodie in a bag. Backpack. You work on Wall Street. Yeah, I have a big corporate job. I'm sure you're probably right. They work on Wall Street. Listen, I'm not, listen. Devin sounds racist to me, guys. Well, it's- how's that racist? These guys obviously don't work on Wall Street. Maybe oh, yeah. they made a song called Wall Street at one point. <laughs> <laughs> listen, when I look at these guys, I can't tell the difference between a couple of corporate suits. 
<laughs> ah, you're a liberal cuck, much like your COVID opinion. I'll tell you right now. These... Black people, sound off. Sound off, black people. <laughs> the cop, right, like black people listen to this? Clip this, black people. I know. Uh, Marcia's. I'm kidding. I'll tell you right there's now, a, though. There's a, I hope there's black people. The fucking cops are going to find these kids, and they're going to fuck them in the ass because of the amount of media attention this is getting. I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. They don't give a fuck. Cops they got don't on give bird, a f- They got on bird scooters. Cops it's don't done. investigate shit anymore. They dude, don't if give it's a on fuck. the news, uh, they're, uh, you know there's an NYPD detective they're gonna fucking fucking gonna steaming pick. right now. How do they find these guys? There's no face pic. Because they got on well, electric scooters afterwards. They're going to trace the scooters. Sure, I guess if yeah. it's oh, the, I guess the app right. is connected yeah. oh, to shit, their I guess you're right. Yeah, they're dumb. They, the, the cops are going to go in there. Are they going to do subpoena- that much yes. work? Well, they could subpoena Facebook. The reason they, subpoena they might is because it's on the Upper West Side. And they're yes. like, yeah, well, true. Yeah, real true. estate needs to be protected. If this yes. area is exactly. getting robbed, it's yes. going to affect right. biz. But at the end of the day, they're not going to be charged with much. Oh, unless I mean, they have priors. Unless no, they have they're going to get on. But the stealing of. Petty theft. Imagine what the detective is saying to the mom right now. So we're gonna find him, and like oh, we're gonna get these mugs. in like a horny way, or what do you mean? <laughs> she goes, "You find them, and I want to have, <laughs> I want to have an hour to two hours in a room alone with them. <laughs> Show them what I think about them. Yeah, you find them, you put them in a room with me in my lingerie. Like, uh, ma'am, can I, <laughs> I think there should be a cop in there with you. It's not safe. You, I want you to, the <laughs> no. woman that's like, see, she's telling the cops, you fucking find them. But it's all because she really wants to get gang banged by him. Yeah. yeah. She says, you put me in a room with them with a martini and a zanny bar, and I'll, 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 I'll give them a piece of my mind and pussy. Just me, them, in a room, box of rubbers. I'll fucking show them how I feel. <laughs> box of rubbers. Uh. Magnum. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, it sucks to get robbed as a child dressed like a retard. What are you gonna do? You know, I would hate that. I would hate that. I'd hate that so much. That would be terrible. To get robbed as a child dressed like a retail, that's a, a nightmare. Did you ever lemonade stand as a kid? Yeah, you I did, did actually. I, did I made that. like 60 bucks, bro. I, I did that bullshit, yeah. Yeah, I tried walking dogs in my neighborhood, too. Like, I tried, I put out signs, like, walk dogs, because I wanted money for, so I could yeah. buy, um, I wanted money to buy, like, burgers and shit. <laughs> Such a fat this kid. is the 1930s. I, I wanted I needed money to get a cheese. I wanted money so I could go to the Jack in the Box down the street and get what I wanted because my mom and dad were health facts. I tried to mow lawns with a push mower. Yeah, I, I mean, I worked in yards and stuff too. Like my resume was like all <laughs> yard, yard work and yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you guys have golf ball hunting? No. You'd go to a golf course, and if there was like a a creek through that's, it, that's that's because you had the country club yeah. close to you, and that was like a big deal in town, like. We'd have to have already been. We, uh, my dad would have already had to like you know play it at a at a country club out here for me to yeah. even know about that. But it's it's not as common out here. That's yeah. like a smaller town thing. I think I, I, I've never heard of anywhere anyone else doing it from another city. I thought I think we if you have done this, please let me know because I've never heard of anyone else doing this. But yeah, you'd go like dive in the creek. Everybody hits their balls. You grab them <laughs> and then you go in front of the country club and you just like sell them. That's for awesome. A, yeah. yeah, that you you'd make a bunch did of money. Yeah, we money? did that. Yeah, yeah, you made money doing that. Oh yeah, like a buck a ball. If they would get pissed if you charged a buck for like a we charge a buck for like a Nike. But if you bought like a brand new Nike, it was like one seventy five. Yeah. So they were like, "Why the fuck? Like, like that's not even a good enough deal." No, a lot of people would say no, but then a lot of people would just be like. I like what you kids are doing. Like, I'll, like your gumption. I'll, exactly. Yeah, it's real Huck Finn shit. Yeah, People yeah, love yeah. that. People yeah. love seeing little Huckleberry Finns running around doing little stuff. You know, Joey, I don't want to sound rude, but it's just always a, it's a kind of a funny thought I've always had where it's like, a place like Rapid City, <clears throat> when you tell me like people are rich there and stuff, I'm always like, why does money even matter there? Like I always, I am literally an idiot like that. Like I have such a lack, of, I guess, I guess lack of respect. I don't know. It's just because it, when I went there, it's such a, Small community. I'm like money. It, like, it matters well, more. So a million. Like it matters more there because you'd be a big baller way easier in Rapid City. Right? No, I know, but I'm like, so it's it's meaningless in a weird way. It's like, I think well, no. So they're so, handing no. kids eighty bucks. You, know? you can be richer with a lower amount of money. So like, if you have a million dollars in Rapid City, and by the way, it's getting kind of expensive there. But if you have a million bucks in Rapid City. You could have a pretty fucking sick house. It's getting expensive in Rapid City. Oh yeah, like a uh, apartment. Yeah, you said like an apartment was like still like eleven hundred dollars yeah. or something for a yeah. shitty apartment. Like in a Rapid bad C- neighborhood or the neighborhood that where they they, they think it's bad yeah, out there because yeah, there's yeah. like a Native American guy. <laughs> yeah. like, like next to one like, Native American, like one Native corner. American guy who kicks ass by yeah, the way. Yeah. He's like the coolest guy in town, and they're like, yeah, we got to raise the rent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. But you're right. It's uh. 
money goes much further out there. So a rich guy in South Dakota has got a guy that might have like a million bucks. Somebody with a million bucks here, it's like your you're neighbor. Normal. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, they have like a three bedroom house and they like whatever. They're sure. doing good, but not they're not going. They don't have a plane. Mm hmm. Like in in Rapid City, there's guys like that. They have like a little private jet. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just my you know, for lack of a better word, my big city thinking. When I was in Rapid City, I'm like, why do you like when like your friends are telling me about the jobs they have? I'm like, why do you guys even like need to live within capitalism? I'm like, why do you, you guys have jobs? I'm like, does it even matter here? It's not Every, that cheap. I'm like, everything should be free. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. You know it's what not I mean? worth it. Like, like it doesn't seem like why worth... get rich and then use the money to, to live there. It's uh, not yeah. you mu exactly. You're right about That's that. That's what I always. Uh, it's a, it was. I mean, it's a childish thought, but it was like I was just kind of like, yeah, you guys have money, but yeah, of course you have money. Some people yeah. like that lifestyle of like just simply not having anything to do ever, and like, okay, let me drive to the Walmart, and that's where I buy my groceries, and then like, oh, let's get mm -hmm. to Starbucks, mm -hmm. and then hey. Let's get wild tonight. We'll go to the one sushi place where all the servers are Chinese. Yeah. And it's just like they're... <laughs> <laughs> all the servers are Chinese at the sushi yeah. place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember Brock sent us his fucking sushi? Oh, it looks horrible. Oh, God. John, what did you, John said the funniest fucking what? thing ever. He's like, what is that hillbilly slop? <laughs> <laughs> it was just sushi. <laughs> it, was, it, it was a poke like bowl. It was a poke <laughs> bowl. Okay. It looked like a bullshit oh, poke yeah. bowl. Was Brock a... was like, look at this. It yeah. was like a man from the country being like, we too have silk. It was a poke he was bowl. Like, Brock, I guarantee you, he just like got really high. He's like super excited. About yeah, the yeah. and then he's like, God, check this out. John sees it and Come just on, goes, bro. Get immediately what is this shit hillbilly on fucking, fucking bullshit. What the fuck is poke like in South Dakota? You're like, yeah, I'll have shit. a, I'll take the albacore deer. <laughs> I'll take the <laughs> rainbow yeah. trout. Oh, can I get the rainbow muskrat? <laughs> rainbow <laughs> trout. <laughs> That's uh, I'll take I was, one, I was two scoops in, of the Lakers. I was in the high desert for the past like few days, and like I was talking to a lady who. Uh, Why do they call it the high desert again? Because you go with? way. It's like so you go to Palm Springs. You're in Palm Springs. You're like on like you're. It's pretty low, and then you go up into the mountains. And oh, you went. To Idlewild? I went to Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree is like pretty flat. That's high desert. No, it's flat. No, but you're up high. The altitude. The altitude oh, it goes like up. Like it's above sea yeah. level. Yeah. yeah. Joshua Tree, way, 29 Palms. Somebody said we should do an episode at Slab City, and I kind of thought that was a decent idea. That's Slab a cool City, place. I've been. Or Salted. How about we could do, do one at the Salt and Sea? I'm going to be real with you guys. You guys got. There's some desert fucking people out there. No, we're bro. not going to Slab City, actually. Because I, I, I've. I, I, yeah, there's people there. There's scary Let's desert. Let's go to people. Salt and Sea. That scary desert pit. It's Slab City's in Salt and Sea. I've been to Slab City with you, right? Yeah, we went. That it wasn't scary no, in any it, way. There's, there's, here's the thing, people though. It's like you go to Slab City and you're like, you'll you'll read the like people like talking about camping out there, and they'll be like, yeah, I was camping out in Slab City. Guy with a rifle kept walking around. Oh, like, you're, like, uh, I don't want to camp there. Well, yeah, we're not camping. We go a we lot do, of meth addicts and artists. Here's the thing: we go, we pull our car up, we set up chairs, we record a yeah, podcast. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Don't then, get me wrong. And then dude, we go to a, city king, and then we bro. go to a good place. Yeah. I fucking know Slab City, man. But Salt and Sea is actually time. cooler. Salt and Sea is creepy, but it kicks what ass. What is it? I've never heard Salt of it. We pass by to get to Slab City. It's that big lake where all the dead fish are on. There's a bunch of dead fish on the shore, and it's full of salt, so you could everyone floats in the water. No, you don't get in that water, bro. Well, I thought that's the whole point is that everyone can float in it. That's you're thinking of the Dead Sea in Israel. Oh, well, whatever. The Salton Sea is agricultural <laughs> runoff. It's the most podcast. No, Why is it called the Salton the Inter Sea? Because it's it's uh, built on a salt lake. But the thing about what that ocean. What does the ocean, salt do? De Devin, there's dead fish all over the shore. Would you go into a, a body of water with dead animals? Like all you over probably the shore? would float, but you just you probably would go float. In. But it's built on it's an alkali bed of salt on the bottom what are you of the saying? water. I'm not stronger and than a fish. <laughs> Devin, the water is agricultural runoff from the Central Valley. It's like full of DDT and shit. You what don't is DDT? Get a, a pesticide. You don't want to get in the water. That's why the fish are dying. I was thinking of the other. There's like no oxygen. I was, I was content. thinking of the Jew Lake. Yeah, yeah you're thinking, there's no oxygen content in that water. What was the, the lake you said? The Dead Sea. And that's in where? That's in Israel. Right. So <laughs> they uh they they is that they, where they put all the Palestinians? Yeah. Uh, yes. Because uh, they're dead. Because yeah. they're dead. That's, that's, why, I, that's uh, why I said that. Very that's why good. I said that, yes. folks. Yes. Judd, Judd wasn't getting it. Free Palestine, by yeah. the way. Uh, but, yeah, Neeland is the town. And, and, and But, anyways, I was saying, yeah, I was out in Joshua Tree, and you go to 29 Palms, you get, like, a house in 29 Palms for, like, 1200 bucks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. like, I was out there, it I saw a lady, I was like, what do you do for fun? She's like, I just do the things they I would do uh, Catching up on chores. They don't I'm do like, anything. what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's like, there was, I was out there for, like, five days, and I was like, there's nothing to do out here. I went to Pappy and Harriet's. That's, like, the only cool thing out there. Joshua Tree is cool though. But it's every, beautiful. Everyone in Twenty Nine Palms, they go there to either people they they want to work on their melanoma. They're like, I really want to build this up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's dry. It sucks. It's dry as it's shit. Dry. Palm Springs, I love. I love Palm Springs. I love Palm those. Palm Springs kicks I ass. love that mid-century modern, yeah. whatever. A I lot love, of gay guys. I, I, yeah, we didn't even really see him that gay. much. You Brother know? man, it yeah, was yeah, Joshua wild Tree? out there. No, Joshua, Palm, Palm Springs oh, is a yeah, gay, I know that. gay like, haven. It's fucking wild. You know why day. Palm Springs was such a great, was was uh, occupied by so many Hollywood uh, actors in the old days? Do you know this, John? Why? Am I, do I know this more than you? Because it, it, they had to all sign contracts. Oh, first off, like everyone in Palm Springs, like Bob Hope, John Wayne, Marilyn Monroe, like every cool, like great legend had a place in Palm Springs, right? And the reason they did, the reason Palm Springs uh, had like you know hype mm -hmm. was because they all had to sign contracts that said they couldn't ever be more than a hundred miles away from los angeles in case a gig came up because they were like they were slaves basically yeah those so contracts are brutal. palm springs is technically 99 miles away from los angeles county so all those people went and got places in palm springs and felt like they were away from hollywood let's go the max away and, that we can. And, and it's beautiful because you got the uh, i think it's the so saguaro valley or the the saguaro mountains or yeah. something and that and when you're in palm springs you really do feel like you're gone from yeah. la yeah. because of that big mountain and it's just yeah. you're just it gone. looks different it just looks yeah. different and but it's you're so close to los angeles mm -hmm. i love palm springs i love uh desert hot springs is interesting too yeah, al capone had a hideout there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i was in desert hot springs with my mom one time at a hotel and we saw uh or maybe it was Palm. What is it called? Palm Desert or Desert Hot Springs? Yeah. Was... We saw we saw Mickey Rooney actually. He was at the pool with oh, me, yeah? and I was a little kid because my my parents like. Fucked you sure you didn't just see an armadillo? My parents <laughs> fucked me up. My, my parents <laughs> fucked me up. So like one of my favorite movies as a child was um, uh, what was it called? Something Velvet. National Velvet, or I, I think it's about a racehorse, and Mickey Rooney's like the lead character, and it was like one of my favorite movies. So I was maybe like the only like eight year old freak that like loved Mickey Rooney. <laughs> Mickey Rooney, yeah. I'm the only eight year old in a. <laughs> he didn't I'm know he only... was that old. No, you show up there, you're like, wait, what happened to Mickey Rooney? I'm the only eight year old. <laughs> person in American history that's ever given a fuck about Mickey Rooney. To recognize in Mickey Rooney. In the year, Rooney, yeah. to and I'm at the pool, and I go, I go, that's Mickey Rooney! And I went up to him, and I told him I, lo like I loved him and stuff, and he was like, hey, hey. He was like, about to die. He's shitting himself. He's like, yeah, well, okay, thanks, kid. He was like, he's like, I think he was, I think I might have given him a stroke that night, because he was like, what? Like, he must why? have been so fucking confused. He's, he's like, like, why does this kid know me? Why, why does, does an eight-year-old in the year 2000 know who I am? That's so but, funny. Uh, yeah, uh, I like Desert Hot Springs. They have some cool shit, too. But uh, Joshua Tree, we all got to go because they got weird UFO shit. Yeah. And we can, did you see UFOs or anything? I saw one. We're going to stay in a themed motel like in Dumb and Dumber. We're going to stay in one of those like weird UFO motels. They got a couple. We're going to stay in one of those retard places. And then we go to the retard bar. It's all retard places because everyone that lives there is just like afraid of life and shit. So it's like a bunch of like into the wild people that just like didn't have the balls to actually like go die in a school bus. So <laughs> they like live there. Yeah. And Joshua Tree's, did you go through the town? Like, yeah. Did you go through the main town? Yeah, I went all over. I was it's running bizarre. errands all day. It's like day. an interesting, weird place. You know what's funny is Yucca Valley's actually, there's more shit to do in Yucca Valley. Well, we'll go Joshua there too. We're doing it all. I'll rent the car. It's 10 we'll minutes go. Away. It's, it, goes Yucca, it goes Yucca and then it goes Joshua Tree. We then it goes don't Slam use Ponds. our youth enough. We don't do enough stuff together, honestly. Well, we didn't we don't go money out of to town. Do stuff like I agree. Until now. We don't do enough stuff. We we no. have you. We, I, we, I, we've always money. had enough, but we just no, spend it on I, stupid yeah. shit. Yeah, we do dumb stuff. We got to go do it on fun the stuff. Airbnb yeah. record on the was way. Really you know, nice. We can still great. have all the fun in the world anyway. Yeah. If I didn't Postmates for one week, I could afford the greatest like little trip. We yeah. should stay in fucking Pioneer Town, bro. It's a little bit cooler. All right, whatever. You you pick it. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's nothing to do out there. I did see a UFO. Um, sure, go ahead. So, what what happened? What was the UFO? So uh, it was. It looked like a satellite at first. Okay. Um, have you seen satellites when it's really pitch black out there? But the problem with Joshua Tree that I didn't didn't so fucking wait, wait, hold on. Yeah. You're confident. You're just like one hundred percent. You're confident. 100%. You saw a UFO. So here's the. So you just think they're out that week, like because they were in the other video. You no, saw it. No, you don't think your brain no, is Devin, like pre-programmed because you, you did an if episode you, if you, where we did you, UFOs. If you, if, you, if you if you look in the fucking night sky for. Two three hours, you will see a UFO, and you don't. And well, you so every some, time I've done it, do you believe it was an alien or was it just? Some, I don't know what it was, but right. it was weird. Okay. I don't know if it was an alien, right? Because you know weird. all of the government planes in the sky. You know all. Don't know, you know everything ones, they're doing. Whatever. Don't yeah. know what it was. I'm literally admitting I don't know what. It was. So it's not Anyways, an alien. It like, sure, it let's like hear. A, let's it hear. Looked like a satellite, and then it was because. Uh, but the thing is, it looked like a satellite, but it started. It went 
boop, it flashed really bright, and then went boop, it flashed really bright, and then did that for maybe a minute, and then it just disappeared. I bet it was a FedEx so, plane. Wait, so, it was a white light. So there were no red light lights on it. Was it was a white light. And it was, then turned off. It was right. a white light. You know it how have any, satellites and you know everything your little in the sky does? <laughs> I don't know what it was. That's you the whole thing. It's unidentified. That's the worst okay? UFO I've It's ever fucking unidentified. Heard. You can call anything I unidentified. I can go, oh, look, a plane. Unidentified. Oh, you know what planes object. look like. I can't tell if it's Southwest it's or Delta. You want to know the really embarrassing thing? You want to know the really embarrassing thing? You look like a fool. It's better be good. I fucking bought the laser beam. Oh god! And I got too scared to point the laser at, at the sky? at the light because I got I I listened. I'm so scared of being abducted. You now. thought they were going to abduct you? <laughs> oh my god! I John is so like a fucking ten year old. Yeah, I bite my girlfriend was like point the laser at. I was like, no, dude. I was. And she, it was horrible. Dude. Are you I, kidding me? I'm dead serious. I'm dude, so that scared is of being gayer abducted. Than, I can't believe. <laughs> I don't want to get abducted. You're gonna dude. you're gonna fight in a I war, but you out. can't. I bitched out so hard. You think dude, I would rather <laughs> fight in a war than get abducted by aliens. Bro. You're a retard, dude. dude. I listened to the bo- You're a Betty. Big pussy. Dude, I listened to the Betty. You dude, I was such a such big game, and you couldn't point dude. a laser in dude, the sky. I was, I was fucking, dude. I listened to the Betty and Barney Hill fucking abduction hypnosis like recordings of them talking about. It was terrifying. It was so scary to me. The, you would have last screaming a minute at war about God, aliens a, putting a cup dude, over this the penis. Is no, it's this different is things you're scared of. There's different things you're scared of. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's strange. Aliens scare me. That's an odd thing. If I'm weird, you call JSP weird. GSP. Yeah. GSP, I gotta if I'm a coward, call GSP a coward. <laughs> well, he's terrified of aliens. He is. I mean, but he has like a fear of being taken. He's not going to. I have a fear of being taken, bro. No, I know, but he's not going to irrationally be like, I'm not going to point my laser pointer. I don't know. I don't know what he can. He wouldn't do, bro. I think he would. I think he'd understand. I think he'd put his hand on my shoulder. He loses understand. time because but he I did has look like a massive bitch, and I got real bitchy, and I feel horrible and fucking. Did your girlfriend like make fun of you? Yeah, a little bit. And it made me mad. Was was she actually going like, "Hey, you, that was kind of you're kind of a pussy." No, no. I mean, well, she called me a pussy for like thirty. But seconds. in a nice, like, kind of cute yeah, way. Yeah, it was funny. Like, I was like, "Fucking, I'm not a pussy. I just don't want to get abducted." I mean, that's incredibly <laughs> gay. It was really fucking gay. And uh, but uh, the uh, uh, fucking uh, the lights. Uh, it looked weird because I looked it up. I looked up the satellites flash. They don't flash. It was obviously very far away. It didn't look like a plane. It followed a weird flight flight pattern, and it could have been uh, it could have been any because also like satellites when it's twilight, they will they will literally reflect the sun, and they look really bright and they move and they don't look like planes. Sure. So, um, but that's usually usually when I see UFOs, it's you can tell it's something strange by its flight pattern. So, like, the first time I saw a UFO, I was in on the coast in Washington. There was something on the horizon that was going up and down and left and right, and then up and down and left and right, and then there was another one, then another one appeared and started doing the same thing, and then they both disappeared. There's so many weird illusions that could happen when you're yeah, looking no, at the sky. I, I'm not from, saying, like, it goes behind a cloud. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not or, saying like, it's an yeah, alien for sure. It changes no, I, it, John. I, mean, I understand yeah. what you're saying. Like, also, here's the thing. You can't underestimate the psychology of it. Your brain's already... Oh, totally. Your yeah. brain's already premeditated into wanting something. Yeah to happen you're going to the ufo area yeah i've never you know? i've never i've never seen a ufo where i'm like wow that's cr-. i've never seen like a black triangle i'm like wow that's fucking crazy like you hear like uh like our bell the famous fucking coast yes. to coast yeah, guys he, I love was, Art bell, he yeah. had a he had a ufo sighting with his because he lived in the high desert but him and his ex-wife were uh they saw a black triangle float over them at like 150 feet it was mm-hmm. silent like that would be a crazy thing to happen. i don't know what i would feel in that situation i'd probably be terrified mm-hmm. i'd be terrified shit scared um but yeah they're out there you'll see you'll see weird shit if you look at then that's one of the worst things that that ha- that that's been done to people is they've eliminated our night sky through cities uh yeah but in, it's and beautiful even in joshua tree you can that's, it's still not even that it's good in joshua tree it's not as good was, as like being in wyoming that's the or, thing is i was just i went out there expecting these you could still see the milky way in joshua tree there's still too much but light it's around. it's you yeah. they get light pollution from vegas and la mm-hmm. and i was like man yeah, you I, got you got palm springs right there you got cities still like landers and i but still like i was like okay um but i mean when i'm out in washington when i'm in northern arizona northern arizona was one of the craziest nights guys I've ever seen but that yeah. was one of the first times I ever looked up. I must have been 24, 25. And I remember I was walking from my cabin, uh, and it was during this alien UFO conference that kicked ass. I was walking uh, for, I was walking to my cabin, and I remember just looking up and being like, holy shit, like, what the fuck is this? I, 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 the last time I saw the Milky Way 
you 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 should you would love Africa because the night sky is completely different because you're in the southern hemisphere. Yeah, you don't realize it's unfamiliar to you. Still not a reason the southern to cross. Get a bunch of shots to go look at the sky. You don't have to get the shots. Just go. Yeah, you do. You don't have to. Just fucking. Yeah, go. You you'll do. be fine. I took you to Planned Parenthood because you had your cock was falling off and we had to go get you help. Okay. I'm yeah, not, that was I'm never different. Going to these countries with you. Uh, but they uh uh they uh yeah you get like a yellow fever thing but nobody gets yellow fever anymore. What is yellow fever? What I don't even really know. Asians? I don't know. <laughs> it's like it's like a disease you get from going to like places like that. From, from the like water? water? Yeah. Polio. What, what polio. type of water, what, John? When you were in those countries, what type of water did you drink? Like bottled water? You no, drink, like, I, I was actually I balls deep. That I would uh, I would drink tap water sometimes, and I would drink I would brush my teeth with tap water and stuff. I really didn't give a fuck. Is there tap uh, water? They say it's like I, okay. Are there like wells out there? Or? No, it was it was from the tap. It was uh, I was in Mombasa. And I was I was using uh, tap water to brush my are teeth. Springs or anything? Or? Well, it's, you're getting it from their water treatment plant or something. <sighs> but they uh, uh, uh they uh yeah the um what really fucks you up in my history is food more than water. Wait, what? You got fucked up more by food in Africa? Oh, I've had than... horrific food. I've had horrific food poisoning. Like, like I, I've. Because what is it? Well, I had a. What are you eating? I had a ten cent meal. I, I kept hearing in this village <laughs> I was at. A <laughs> ten cent. <laughs> are you fucking? What? So there's this village. I was in this village. What a life. Yeah, called Watamu, and uh, this dude showed up. And he goes, "Man, you get a meal for ten cents down the street." And I was like, "What?" And I was like, "No way." And I was like, "I'm gonna have this ten cent meal." So I went down the street, and then it was a corrugated steel shack. And it was this lady who was just cooking, and I was like, "Is this the place you get the ten cent meal?" And but it was the local currency that was she like, goes, you know, yes, "How many shillings?" This is where you get that I white said, retard. Yeah, she yes. goes, "Yes, She's like, retard. Yes, she serves it out of her toilet. She's yeah. like, "Yes, yes, yeah. 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 feast." So, she so pulls some down. like fucking yeah, mush out of her pussy and throws <laughs> it on the plate. <laughs> it was I a, keep it warm for you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bowl, and it just had a red broth in it with a single potato that was peeled, and then a piece of oxtail. And I was like, oh, whatever. It's 10 cents. It's literally nothing to me. And I, I ate it, and then I went home, and immediately uh, I took a nap. And then when I woke up, I immediately was like, oh, shit, I'm going to shit my pants. And I uh, I remember I went – I just didn't feel good. So before that, I was I started chugging water, and then this dude was using the shower in the house I was staying at, so I really needed a shit. So I was, like, knocking on the door. His name is Kaichi. He's a Japanese guy. I'm knocking on the door really hard. I'm going, Kaiji, it's an emergency. I need to get in there. And he goes, oh, what are you saying? Like, all this shit is being Japanese. And uh, I vomited and shit my pants at the same time, like, violently. It was crazy. This like, happens sh- to you on, like, regular uh, meals, though, in America, though, too. I've never vomited and shit my pants at the you same time. You shit your pants time. a lot. Sometimes. Yeah, but I mean, you I- told me the same story when you were in, uh, you know, Pasadena. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, I just remember uh, it was gross. It was yeah. really gross, and I was fucked up for like three days. All right, well, we, we, listen, mm-hmm. we're gonna go. It's uh, this isn't like a trip. Well, it's, this it's, is my trick. Was I was gonna say, hey, no. Devin, we're gonna go to the Dominican Republic, no, or like J- Costa Rica. No, no, he's gonna be like, no, okay, no. and then we're, he's gonna get off the plane, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's gonna be like Papua New Guinea. Maybe and eventually, he's not gonna know what to do. Maybe eventually, that's good. Uh, that's good. I would never let that happen, though. You um, wouldn't have a choice, Otter. Yeah, you go wherever you're told. I'd go wherever you're told, Otter. I would brood at the airport. If you did that to me, I would just brood at the airport like a fucking hen. That you're gonna, you're gonna go. Gonna you're gonna I would go just where sit we at tell the airport and wait. I'd be like, I'm be, not going into Papua I'll, New Guinea. The local militia would fucking yeah. kick yeah. you out I'm of the airport. Hire, I'm gonna hire gun. men to fucking take you to places yeah. that we are. We're gonna oh, have a okay. blast. Well, anyway, yeah, there's no freedom over there. You can't like threaten to sue them. Dude. Yeah, the yeah, they, they, murder in defense of witchcraft is like legal in these places. You think I can't get like a bunch of cat peelers to drag you to a fucking hotel? I'm gonna plant like, is a marijuana a bad thing out there? You're going to plant nothing but your foot in the soil that's near me when we fucking walk uh, to bars and go crazy, do crazy like shit. That. I'm going to hire men to assault you. Bro, I saw <laughs> you're going to hire men to assault me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Serious note, though. We're, uh, we got to just go. It's two hours away, Joshua Tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, just go yeah, do yeah. a thing. Yeah, we'll, maybe we can do that for the, the, the summer thing, you know? Sure. Yeah, yeah. We can do whatever fucking, we want. Uh, we can do whatever we want. We yeah, can get an Airbnb or we could camp or whatever. But it'd just be I fun. love the beach. But I, it's going to be a nightmare. Can you summer. camp in... We're, we're just going to go into Joshua Tree National Park. We're you can camp wherever the fuck you want. Yeah, we're going to do some shit. We're going to have the some national, I'm going to be honest with you. Joshua Tree National Park? Ugh. It sucks. It's it just, sucks. It's just it's rocking rocks. trees and it's rocks. Fucking rocks. I well, saw whatever. a dead snake. It was cool. That was it's about it. It's cool if you're from L.A., um, I think, because you've never seen... It's like un, It's unusual. 
Right, that's why it's so cool. No, it's, it's just untouched desert. Or not for you. You've you've traveled and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think like a guy that is like not traveled from California, like it's like, oh, there's desert. This is kind of neat. Here's Whatever. what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this, and you're gonna do this with me, or you're not gonna give me any shit. Okay. Don't try to be a tough guy after I told you. No, all this I will. I'll be a yeah. tough guy. Yeah. I'll be all a right. tough guy. Fag that couldn't point a laser in the sky. Okay. Right, that's very Nancy. legitimate. <laughs> very okay. legitimate. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go to Joshua Tree. We're gonna get an Airbnb. Hmm. And we're going to have a big campfire. We're going to be one of those Airbnbs in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. And the campfire is right in the background of nowhere. And then we're going to, you and I, we're going to do a little bit of mushrooms. Okay. Just a little bit of mushrooms. Not too much. Not where we like can't, not where we're like, fuck, no, no, you know, not like that. Yeah. Joey doesn't do mushrooms. I'm not going to put it on him. Joey will, you know, of course, drink or, you know, whatever. I'll drink. He'll, of you course, do a little I'll, bit of mushrooms. Maybe, I, I maybe, hate mushrooms. Do, maybe eat one. <laughs> I think people who do mushrooms are massive losers, but go ahead. Well, whatever. And then we're going to do it up. We're going to do some apps. We're going to have some fun. We're going to film it, and we'll do that. I think. And we'll go to town, and then we'll have, like, weird stories about these freaks in town. Yeah. Maybe we'll stay in, like, a weird, like, we just stay in one of those, like, love motels. So, you know, because so you could, like, uh, you could that's, have You suggested it. That's rats. fucking gay as hell. Wow. I think what we're going to do is no, we're going to. I said that because I know John always. John, John likes to wine and dine. Yeah. John likes to wine and dine street rats. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call, like, a reptile man that's in that city, and I'm going to go, hey, you're going to be like, we're going to do little mushrooms. I'll be like, cool, but I, I got my own mushrooms. You're going to do a bunch of MDMA. I already have mushrooms, bitch. You're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, do do like I'm gonna dose him with MDMA. He's gonna he's gonna like you know wake up in the morning, have his orange juice, or the gay shit he does, and then I'm gonna like orange get you, juice. Get you, That's I'm what gonna fat get you some fucking do, M- like MDMA. You. I'm gonna get him some MDMA, and you're gonna be high out of your fucking mind. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get like yeah, I love 15 MDMA. rattlesnakes uh, from the shit. local reptile guy. And I'm gonna be like, the Devin. local reptile guy. <laughs> <laughs> there's just a guy out there waiting like, hey, with Dev, rattlesnakes. Dev, I there's got you a present. Snakes. I got you. A pr- oh, there's got to be a guy with snakes. Oh, there, there is. I'll get you a present. Yeah. Dev, look at this gift. Thank you for letting me in your podcast. This is the best. And then you're gonna open it up, and there's gonna be like 15 rattlesnakes on you. They you're jump out. Well, that's like very you. mean and like uh, <laughs> uh, very. I mean, that's like uh, criminal. I mean, you would kill me if if you did that. They're you defanged. have me attacked they're by defanged. a bunch of people. Full circle. Full circle. They're defanged. So you somehow you somehow figure out how to defang a bunch of like 15 rattlesnakes so they can no, the, reptile, me as a the goof. reptile guy did it the reptile guy does it yeah. and now what do you pay him uh, 50, bucks. 50 bucks oh all right whatever. yeah well <laughs> you know folks our, fr- our pal john here this scumbag uh he uh works at a bar oh yeah he's a, he, and oh god i forgot about this it's a uh it's quite a contentious bar and he's worked there for quite some time now and and we think our newest segment uh joey what's the name It's John's Bar Corner. Hell yeah, brother. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, brother. So people have sent in their questions, and uh, I guess I'll do a song. Um... The song. If we do, if we lose the songs, we're done with the corners. By the way, I'm not, I refuse to do any corner without the songs. There's no point without the songs. All right, all right. Yeah. Here we go. Silliness. All right, here we go. John's Bar Corner. Well, I woke up Sunday morning with cum in my ass, cause I'm a queer. And the cum I had for breakfast was good, so I had a gallon for dessert. Then I fumbled through my closet looking for my industrial sized diaper. And then I walked to McDonald's <laughs> and I ordered the whole menu. They kicked me out right after. And then I went to work at John's Bar. Oh, just another Sunday morning queer. didn't suffice so I had more for dinner yeah. didn't suffice well I work at a bar full of schizophrenic homeless people and people fresh out of prison and somehow I'm the most unstable person there. it's John's Bar Corner are getting harder to do because my friends don't really give me any 
support anymore. It's growing a divide between me and John. Week after week, I do a song. And despite knowing it's parody, the people comment weird things and maybe it gets in our heads. <laughs> and then from within, our friendship will be torn apart. <laughs> and who knows how this podcast will end. Beautifully. Fat and gay. Yes, yes. And nothing will change the dynamic. Yes. Of the Hate Watch podcast. Nothing. The only podcast yes. done by people that actually love each <laughs> other. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for listening. The prank calls we did on the last Patreon were completely real. And you're a retard if you think they're fake. John's Bar Corner. Yeah. Yes, yes, Devin, yes. Welcome to John's oh, Bar yeah. Corner. Oh, hello, By the fellas. way, before we start, John just reminded me that Anna Pittman, mm -hmm. the legendary Anna Pittman, who runs uh, Modern Stems and Sugar. Oh, you got the cookies. Wonderful. Oh, Could you, you got the cookies. put a cookie up to hey, the camera? Look at this fucking put the gun art. cookie Anna up. is a delight. So we haven't even opened these yet. Look at these We're going to do like an unboxing on video. Okay, this is a gun one. It's got to fuck out good that Look is, at that bro. shit. And That's amazing. And we're gonna do. Can she you made find that another one. And then I'm gonna pull them all out. What is that one? That's for Joey. That's a nice Joey one. What that one's it, hard to see on like? camera. What that one's hard to see on camera. It's just, it's just a circle with, with like it says Joey. It's not. It's not oh. like a, a, a. It's a great. I mean, it's amazing. Look at that Rapid City. Hey! You gotta get yeah. It's like a cowboy. Oh, cowboy. That's awesome. She's a cowboy. She's awesome. She fucking she's a maestro. She's insanely talented. Super. Jesus Christ, dude. What, what is, is that? Super baby. Holy fuck! Oh my God! Look at. Let me see. Look let at me the kid see, kicking. Debbie. Our least favorite. That looks so good. Yeah. She Holy has shit. Fucking, let, let me has, put this up close. She has fucking uh. God, it's a uh, oh the, the goddamn God, gothic dude. font, dude. Dude, key. I don't know. I'm. I can't eat these. We're not gonna eat these things. I'm gonna eat the one that says. Dude, it's the 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 the, the focus? camera focus sucks. It's like automatic. It sucks ass. It sucks ass, dude. It's not gonna work. But the, they can get the hint. Here, here, move it away. If you, the, yeah, there, it did it. Finally, did it. Joy, take this one. Look it's, at that. Oh my Kia god, boys. there's so many cookies. Holy Kia shit. boy. Yeah, how did I do that? Holy, what the fuck? Jesus, sorry. Dude. It's all right. Oh, dude, this is like. Are you just getting lucky? Dude, we're not eating these. We're not. We can't. We have to save these. Devin, this one's you pissing on a robot. We have to save Debbie. these, man. Devi, look. Pissing on a robot. Oh, that kid, oh, that's my favorite thing anyone's ever done. <laughs> Holy fuck. Dude, look at that. It's me pissing on a robot. <laughs> <laughs> we love all of you. Dude, Anna, thank you so much. This is amazing. Oh, my God. There's so many more. <laughs> Holy shit, this Queen. This shit is insane. Jesus You're fuck. amazing. The oh, there's City one that's one. an otter. You got oh an otter? Oh, my God. We got an otter. Oh, this is John killing a chimp! <gasps> no! Dude, a chimp! It's an RPG! <laughs> it's, I got a, it's an RPG and a chimp! Look at this oh, one! Oh, this is my favorite. What is Hang it? on, one sec. It's you being naked and gay. <laughs> 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 Look at this otter. Look at the otter. <laughs> Joey, show the naked and gay one. Hang on. These are so good. Oh, Look at this otter! Holy shit! How do I keep fucking missing I think we should try like one. The there's so many of them. Let's see. I yeah, of course. Oh, wanna... they got Tuggy Guy! They got Tuggy Guy! Tuggy Guy it. is here! <laughs> <laughs> His cop. Look at it. Bro, I had no idea she did so many. Dude, I love what I love and I hate at... what I hate. I'm, I'm keeping that. Look, at, look at this one. It's the Tuggy Guy. <laughs> These are so hard to focus. It's like random how it works. Let's see what else we got. I hate that you make things that, that go in that, that oh, make that oh, go into people's Joey stomachs one. and this is beautiful. Oh Joey. Joey. Yeah. Look at this bad boy. That's all you put. Oh fuck. It's a That's bomb. Sick. 
can tell what that one hey, is look, without even Hey, watch focus. podcast. This one's the king. Holy shit. That one is so fucking I'm cool. like, I'm in utter awe. I gotta wait for this one. Let's do this Oh, we one. got arrest and piss, bozo. Joey, look at this one. I love what I love and I hate what I hate. She's like quoting a thing I think I said about Jack. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. I mean, I've said it about myself as well, but like, you That's know, really cool. Jack That's and I, I love what I love this. and I hate what I hate. Rest in peace, Bozo. Hang on. Let me this just... is like $300 worth of cookies. This is insane, this is insane. Anna. Anna. Thank you so much. Anna, you're the woman, dude. Fucking What a queen. I think that's it, fellas. We got this Joey one in here. Let's take that out. We're not eating these, dude. We got to put these in like a memorabilia thing. Yeah. Oh, is, wait. There's, this wait is, there's she put too much one... effort into this. this oh, is crazy. Devin. De Life! Live! Yes! Oh, Judge Joe Brown one? <laughs> oh my god! This, we got the gun. this is insane! God fucking it. It. We're free. Um, I don't want to eat these. I wish they weren't. No, let's not eat them. Let's no, let's not I wish they weren't edible. Preserve them. Let's preserve them in There's plexiglass. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Anna. So and Joey, goddamn. Joey, shout her out again. Shout her uh, place, uh, her, her bakery Anna out. Pittman from uh, Modern Stems and Sugar, I think. it's. Let's find the thing. There's little stickers on it, too. That one says you want to tug it. Okay, here's the thing. Modern Stems and Sugar. And I believe she's in Nashville. Get some cookies from her. Nashville kicks artist. ass, and I, she, I hope she's like a national. Imagine the fucking I birthday she's a cake she can local. make. Well, she's from Texas. I happen to know this. Okay, yeah. well, whatever. But I, yeah, yeah, yeah. She went. She she went there, and she like, she is so talented, and she's mm. still trying. She's like struggling. She's Why? Like, well, she's gonna get. Her, she, this, she's gonna. She's gonna. She's a queen. She, well, she's so talented, she's but she's saving she can't, money to open up a, a store. She gets a lot of business. Like people are ordering cookies from her and shit, but it just takes so much time because she makes each one by hand. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. So, good. so she can't get rich doing it. Really, well, she's, she's, she just loves it, and she's an artist. She's got to hire some bakers. Yeah, but you can't teach this kind of like shit. You know, yeah. it's like it's all. Well, no. eventually she'll have to learn how to because, like, you know, if she's 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 going to be running a a, a mm. fucking you know one of the best cookie cookie shops in the country. Well, she is. I think that somebody should this hit her up insane. and be like, "I want like a, I'll I, pay top dollar for a custom order because this is art. This shouldn't be cookie prices. This should be art prices. This is, yeah, this, this is, is art. Uh, this is I, I'm I'm the only thing I'm annoyed by is that it's like their food and I'm like. We well, we're not eating these well, things. We're we're not, I'm not eating a single one we'll of these. We'll find a way this, to this preserve is, this them. This will be in my heart for the rest of my life. I okay. can't, I thank can't you believe, so much, I Anna. Pittman, modern cool. stems and sugar. Thank you so much, Anna. So right. John's, John's bar corner. So, so I, I went on Instagram and I made a post. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joey R. Lafleur on Instagram, if you want to submit your corners. Uh, but so here is the post that I made just to give context for these questions. A lot of people already know John's a bartender, but they may not know quite how, you know, serious of a mm -hmm. bar that he works at. Mm -hmm. So I said, John's the number one bartender in Los Angeles at an unnamed train station bar. Yeah. 90% of his regulars are homeless people or men who were just released from uh, the prison down the street and are rushing to the nearest bar to black out as fast as they can. Their hearts are often filled with hate. They're angry at the world and not afraid to go back to prison. Mm hmm. John is also the de facto bouncer and is responsible for kicking people out when necessary. Luckily for citizens of Los Angeles, he's highly trained in martial arts. Mm -hmm. He makes delicious, refreshing cocktails. Mm -hmm. And he's seen a lot of people die. Yeah. And then I said, submit any kind of bartending or bouncing uh, question. Come on now. Okay, so here we go. Come on now. Here we go. Welcome Let's to go. John's Bar Corner. Ooh. This has been all over the map. We did a cookie thing right in the middle. Uh. A great song. Not Devin's best song. Usually I say that's his best song. You're just you're just saying that because you can't keep saying it. That was a decent song. You guys, I just, liked what it you started. You guys have a really getting... bad habit of like just talking to each other the minute I start the songs. Now Why? Well, I had to remind him about the cookies because I care uh, about Anna. Yeah, it's a great time to do that, yeah. John. You fucking hummingbird. Devin retard. needs a captive audience. Yeah, Devin, you need a. Yeah, one would think. Yeah. Well, so here's the thing. I was listening you're the whole listening. time. I was listening. I was commenting, and it was. I thought it was if, great. If Devin, Devin you guys doesn't... weren't paying attention. You, you've done this the I last. I heard weeks. every lyric. No, la like the, listen, the last I'm time you did here. a quarter song, I said that's now, the best song. You guys are now like I'm, a little sick. I'm you listening. guys are doing a thing. Where you're I, like, I, oh, of course, Devin does this every week. Of course, it's like you guys look at it. You guys are jaded. It's Devin. Like, he you know. thinks we're spoiled, but I think he's getting lazy with I the think, songs. I think you're not elevating an audience the way you used to. Exactly. And I think you need to get back.
back to the artistry he that you used to care. have. He doesn't care like he used to yeah, care. Yeah, you're hamming it in, bud. That's like completely untrue. Was just, <laughs> he's really trying. That was like as every good episode, as that was he's as like, good as, he's like, like, like looking up. I, I'm, I'm literally like, thinking karaoke. of this shit beforehand. I'm not yeah. writing anything down. I'm trying on the spot. We get drunk, but and thinking. then at the end, I try. Huh? Oh, he's thinking. Right. Yeah. No, you so, guys, it's really you guys are like not giving me like any support whatsoever. I was. <laughs> it's like it's, the, it's 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 annoying. I can't force myself to laugh when yeah. I'm not laughing. It's like why, why you guys are talking. Half the talking. time I do the song. The minute talking. I start it, you guys start like talking to each other. The only reason you lost they work the crowd, back, they lost the back damn crowd. Because I would look, I would look at Anthony yogurt argument. I would look at you guys. Yeah, I would look at you guys, and you guys would look at me and, and be engaged. Beamed. And now when I start, you guys are all jaded. You guys act like hot shots. A literally, <sighs> last quarter song. I was so other. engaged. Last I'm quarter song. Last quarter song sucked. It wasn't even on beat. Man on the moon. Oh, that was really funny though. It doesn't have. Great. We we don't like the corner songs because they're musically perfect. Yeah. We like them because they're funny and they there's something unique and odd about them. This was good because it got meta. It started, mm -hmm. I think, a little. I like when you got insecure. At you guys weren't listening the minute comments. it started. I, I looked over. I literally literally just said I like when you got insecure other. at the end. No, you started no, talking about the comments. I was listening to every word. You guys were immediately mouth. talking. Devin, I listen to everything you say. No, you don't. I you don't do. listen to anything anyone says. <laughs> That's why your life sucks. <laughs> well, well, uh, the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're at where you're at. You don't listen That's to a single word anyone's ever said to you. the part of the homeless people and the prisoners. Everyone tells you what what is best, then you go thanks for that, and then you go do exactly what you were gonna do. Devin, very sensitive about the song. I thought it was great, Devin. Yeah, you didn't very hear it Very good song. I, listen, I like the song right, a let's, lot. let's see this question. Very good song, just not the best one. First question. <clears throat> when John has to bounce around. I don't know man. why I'm like oddly, weirdly, I'm like actually kind of upset by that. That's why you're great. <laughs> this is why you're great. It's like hilarious. Like, it's a complete joke bit. It doesn't mean anything. This is why and you're I'm good. Like, I'm like, God damn it. I'm this a fucking bum. I should like start hitting myself. Like, <laughs> idiot, loser, idiot, loser, idiot, loser. Idiot, idiot. This is why you're good, though. This is why some of them are good. No, you're you're <laughs> you're, 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 you're gaslighting me. That was fine. <laughs> you're being an asshole. <laughs> now I'm trolling you. Now I'm trolling you. Okay, first question. Right, Let's get right, to right, it because yeah. we've been wasting time. How long have we done? I, I, who cares? They no, like the I'll keep way. going. I just want to know so I know the pace to do the corner. Yeah, we're we're good. We're good. It's a normal up. Okay, I'll trust you. If it's three <laughs> hours long, that's Devin's fault. It's not. First question. Okay. When John has to bounce a man that's causing problems, yet is also very swarthy and cute, mm -hmm. and he wants to date him and kiss him. <laughs> yeah, dude. What does he do? Does he bounce him? Or does he let love intervene? I don't, let, I don't let... I keep it personal. Uh, professional. So wait, it's like a hottest guy in the world. Hottest guy in the world? Uh, You know... Uh, I've never really had to bounce any hot guys, to be honest with you. Well, okay, let's hypothetical. You, there's hypothetical? the hottest guy in town. Yeah, I still, well, I'd still why, keep it professional. Why would John ever have to bounce a hot guy at his bar? Yeah. I mean, that bar hot, guys, hot guys being a little too wild. There's we no have, attraction. Have, but he's been we, flirting we with you all night. Tom Cruise impersonator thing. who looks exactly like Tom Cruise that comes in. Is he the famous one? The famous one. That comes I know from San him. Diego? Yeah, he kicks ass. I've dude. been there a bunch. He wears the flight suit? I've been yeah. to John's bar a bunch. There's not a single attractive man that's like taking buses or trains. I've seen a few yeah. hot chicks. Yeah, the, there's chicks that do it because they well, think it's like trendy. It's like kind of cool I, to them. Or yeah, whatever. they're like, I, I'm a New York City yeah, kind of like, girl. I'm like, a, I'm, a, no. I'm a New York I'm City, a city gal. girl. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. a fashion but girl. I've never seen an attractive man. They all have like, they all have like clams growing on their eyes. So yeah, you look, bounce and bounce, no matter how horny. No you matter how you. horny I am. Okay, next question. What is the gayest drink you can order, and what's the coolest? Meaning, if a cool buff guy orders, <laughs> <laughs> meaning if a cool buff guy ordered it, it would make John hard on the job and yeah. unable to work through without finishing himself off in the walk-in. Yeah, from Jason Sheehan. The, gay, the gayest drink you can order is anything that's like erotic that you get at like a fucking club in Vegas. So you get like the fucking, uh, what is it? Buttery, sex on the buttery beach. nipple, sure. sex on the beach. Fucking like I've had, and honest, honestly, the gayest thing you can do is if you're a man and you order like a drink that's served in a gay glass, but you're like, can I just get it in a regular glass? Like, what are you afraid? Oh, Somebody's right. Gonna think you're gay. Well, I, every time I get a just make yourself gayer by being yeah. insecure. Yeah. I used to have a period of time where I was like really insecure and I was like, I would order like a gin and tonic or a whiskey and if they remember we used to go to that one bar that was like a hipster bar yeah 
and they would serve him in the tall glasses. And yeah, I'd be Collins. like, dude, I got a fucking whiskey. I, I I would go, I would ask them, I'd be like, can you just put this in a smaller glass? It just it, yeah. was, it pissed me off. I didn't like the tall. That's, that's fair, though. People, I don't think that with that, though. But when guys, if somebody, because there, there are some people who like like whiskey and Cokes in tall glasses because they think there's more liquid in them, but it's not no, true. No, it's, it's for a retard. But, they, the, but uh, like some guys want them person. in short glasses. Yeah. But like if some guy gets a martini and he doesn't want to walk around the martini glass and he's just like, can you put it in, a, sometimes they'll say, can you put it in a man's glass? And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Are you up. serious? Yeah, dude. Dude, the it's martini gay glass is what? not gay anymore. If, if I, James if Bond I had a fucking yeah. yeah. If I heard somebody say that, um, I instantly, in my head, I go, this is a gay guy. I go, that's yeah. a gay that guy. guy. He's a secretly yeah, he's, gay guy. Um, he's, that's Vito Spadafore. He's, he's, exactly. he's afraid of getting caught. The straightest exactly. drink you can order is, uh, the straightest drink you can order is a beer and a shot, or the straightest drink you can order. This guy said the coolest. The coolest drink you can order is a w scotch and water. That is the coolest drink you can order. Yeah, like mixed... Yeah, you get a yeah. scotch, you get scotch, you get water, you get ice. That's the cool. Like sure. old people love to get like like the coolest shit. And I've had a woman order that before, like an old woman. I was like, damn, you're badass. Well, that's yeah, and like a lot uh, of old like hardened like old people Irish, love Irish women. Not even soda water. Like she lost Just probably water. she lost like three kids. At yeah, birth. And, a lot of, a lot of, vod yeah. vodka water is also but like old women will come and send me a vodka water. I'm like, damn. Bad my bitch. my grandpa used to just do Scotch rocks. My yeah. grandma used to do Scotch rocks. Like a lot yeah. of questions, so we gotta keep moving. Okay. Hello, asking as a fellow bartender. Besides the obvious, what are your least favorite red flags at a customer? Also, what cocktail beverage trends are you seeing on the West Coast? Sincerely, Eli in Minneapolis. So least, first first part was yeah. What's when uh, they come in drunk or high, and uh, or when they come in and they immediately start like. You know, harassing the women in the bar. Um, what have you seen, like harassment? Guys will just like fucking sit down. Like I had to tell a guy, I had to tell a guy to like fucking calm the fuck down uh, because like this chick was leaving. The he comes, he comes in drunk, or like this chick will like he doesn't talk to her. Or, what does he look like? It was Asian dude. But this chick gets up and leaves. And he goes, "Oh man, the bitches are leaving." Hold and on, I was Joey, like, what do you the know? What, fuck? Do you understand what he looks like? Now? <laughs> yeah, Asian. <laughs> no, yeah. Like so, what is he, funny, does he? Does he look rich or poor? Like, yeah. like a regular Joe. Joey's like John's like he's Asian. And Joey's like, oh, his eyes are like that. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. That's what I wanted uh, to know. Cocktail trends. No, like um, what type of, like, like uh, in his class? Like, like a class? like a Joe, like a regular Joe. Like a guy regular who comes, like, regular Asian. Joe, wearing a hoodie, not a comes Tesla in. Driving no, Asian. no, no. Okay. This, like, fucking guy taking the Metro, just, like, talking, you know, just, like, dudes who just, like, come in drunk, high, or guys who just immediately start, like, honing in on the way. By high, you're talking about, like, meth. You're not talking about No, guy, I can tell if a guy's on, like, uh, uh, like opiates or some shit. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, like which, heroin which, or meth. They'll or get drunk so quickly. It's so annoying. Like, they'll come in, they'll be perfectly fine, but they'll just be kind of tired, and then you give them one drink, and they're fucked up. Or, like, two drinks, mm -hmm. they're fucked. Mm -hmm. That could uh, easily be, like, Xanax. Xanax, anything. Uh, any kind of downer. But uh, the cocktail trends, um, you know, people doing, like, fancy Negronis. They'll have, like, a Negroni, but instead of, like, fucking uh, uh, Campari, or instead of, like, um, a sweet vermouth in it, they'll have, like, a Maro Montenegro, or, like, you know... Um, <laughs> Yeah. There you Espresso go, Eli. Martinis, Next you know, question. Whatever. Has John ever gotten drunk on the job from Brendan Johnson? Uh, yeah, I used to get fucked up all John the time. Was, John's been hung over uh, there. John has been yeah. hung over there. He's told me to come, and I order a drink, and then John and I do shots and shit. Does, have like, you ever seen John like actually fucked no, up? You, the, the no, only no, time no I've not, been, not at work. The okay. only time I've been fucked up at work is when I was in like Atlanta. I was f I would be fucked up at like 11 a.m. like working. It was crazy. Because your life was hell. That, no, that was your darkest owner, period. Because the owner, the owner of the restaurant was, that drunk? was would sit stand next to me with her glass of wine because she liked me. And she would fucking just talk shit about all the people in the restaurant. And then she would be like, lemon drops for everybody at the bar. Make the lemon drops. And she'd go, make one for yourself. I'd have like four or five lemon drops. What's a lemon drop? Like a lemon it's, cello? It's, a lemon drop is sugar, lemon, vodka. And I would be taking shots of vodka. So it's basically like a lemon yes. cello. It's just like a sweet, A lemon cello is not as sweet. Did you lemon do anything crazy well, when you were hammered at that job? Did you, you just any tried to survive. It was horrible. Next question. What is the most effective submission to pursue when dealing with a violent drunk at the bar? Also, what is John's favorite cocktail that utilizes cum? Uh, Long live gutter oil. Worst show ever. From thank you, <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, dude. hey, man. It, it, we're sorry it ended. The guy's still eating crab in the shower. <laughs> yeah. uh, the uh, the uh, fucking... Um, I don't know what I would do. i probably just like try to arm drag to fucking toss. I don't know. So let's assume he doesn't have any weapons. He's doesn't like... doesn't have any weapons. He's hammered and arm he's, triangle. he's very drunk. Standing arm triangle. St okay, sure, sure. Here's the thing. I'll say this. Dunk under the standing John, arm triangle. Do, do it on me real quick just so that people know. 
Mm. Yeah. So that you can choke somebody out like that, or you, very easily you could take, especially if they're drunk, you could at least take them. Oh, to the yeah. ground. John, um, I'll say this: you're you're a great bartender, but because you deal with so many crazy people, mm. you talk to regular people like out of pocket. I'm very sassy. You're real. I don't know how to. Act. I well, I sit there at the bar and I look at you and I'm like, I'm like. There's moments where I go, this is the worst bartender, like, ever. People love it sometimes. I was, some, I get, You like, act like you work at that place that, like, treats the customers like shit on purpose. Like, that's Dick's, the gag. Dick's last yeah, resort. Yeah, you act I'm like, sassy, a, you're, bro. like, a real prick. Honestly. Well, sometimes people come in, and uh, this chick, this chick came in the other day, yesterday, and she was sitting there, and she literally did not like anything on the fucking menu. She wanted to be vegetarian, but everything that was vegetarian on the menu, she didn't like. And there was not one thing on the menu she liked. We have like, you know, 15 yeah, things. Yeah, she wants menu. you to order a she, custom thing. So for she her. goes, do you, she goes, what do you think I should eat? And I just said, I got a lime wedge for you. Oh, she, wow. What a prick. <laughs> she, <laughs> she got, they get it though. What'd she say? She, she, she chuckled and realized she was being silly. And then uh, like fucking, she's yeah. like, I'm at a fucking train station yeah. bar. Oh, she said in a charming way. Though. I'm always charming. John's funny, but uh, it, no, one time I was sitting at his bar and there was a, uh, I think he was Native American and he was a whiskey connoisseur. And I think you were there, Devin. And at some point, John, came, he, like he saw us being friends with him and he's like, okay, this is a guy with friends and he's charming and stuff. But uh, before that, John came over and said something. He's like, this is the most abrasive bartender that I've ever had in my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I was there. Yeah. Okay. Next question. When bouncing a rowdy patron from the bar, is John's number one priority the safety of himself and those around him, or being able to get his hands on a man for his own pleasure? <laughs> from Walter Nickel. Number two. Hell yeah, Walter. It's number two. Next question. Yeah. Hello, John. Do you consider fancy drinks, sweet drinks, and such to be girly? No, yes. Why? I once ordered a mojito after watching 007 and got turned... To shreds by my friends. Your friends are bitches. JP Ryder Morgan. JP Ryder, you're cool. Your friends are bitches. Sweet drinks. Are I agree. That's Next cool. question. Oh, yeah. If John worked at the Bing, would he do a better or worse job than Georgie? Oh, wait. I forgot this retard hasn't watched The Sopranos, so maybe Kevin, ask him. Yeah, yeah, who said yeah. that? Who said Enzo. that? Enzo. Enzo, you're a fucking god. Yeah, you fucking asshole. He need to watch <laughs> The Sopranos, <laughs> dipshit. Yeah. He, this retard watched all of Beef. Jesus Christ. Before The Sopranos, you <laughs> fucking yeah, asshole. Actually, you've got like a mental break. Right, answer, mental the question. answer the question. What, 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 do I do a better job than the... Than Georgie. No. He'd be worse than Georgie. <laughs> he doesn't know who Georgie is, I'll say no. Yeah, Georgie's like half a retard. Georgie is a, he's the most retarded character in the whole show. You should have a Tony Soprano as your boss that like be like, like blinds you. <laughs> he hits him with a <laughs> hits him with bug. a fucking uh yeah, shot glass <laughs> right in the eye. Okay, thank you. Enzo from Holland. It's a weird eye tie from Holland. Next question. Serious question for John's bar corner. Uh, I hope this one's weird actually serious. Eye tie from Holland. <laughs> I hope this one's serious. That is an odd one. Yeah. He's it's an a, Italian and Holland. Yeah, yeah. He's a weird eye tie from Holland. Who was John's f uh, personal favorite individual to remove from the bar due to improper conduct? David Spade. Uh, you removed David Spade, I from your... David Spade from my bar. From Alec. What happened? Tell he was that. fucking wasted. He's probably on pills. And he came in during that a wine event at the fucking Union Station. He came in and he was eating outside food and he wasn't ordering anything. And I said, hey, you can't have outside food in here. And then he's like, yeah, I'll go and order something in a second. I gave him like 10 minutes. I went outside. He was still eating his outside food. Didn't approach the bar. I said, you got to go. Where did he get his food from? It was a Subway sandwich. David Spade? David Spade. Was, why is David Spade taking Are you the, sure this wasn't a guy was that fucking, looked like no, David it was Spade? Fucking, this doesn't make any dude, sense. It was David, David he was Spade. With, he, was with a, he was with like a couple like beautiful women yeah, in Yeah, he 50s. does that. He does that. Yeah. He was fucking wasted. I don't, it might not have been a Subway sandwich. It might have been a sandwich they were getting from the event. But a he submarine was, sandwich of some kind. What sandwich. was he there for? What do you think? A wine event. It was a big wine event uh, that was happening at the station. came into your bar? Came into the bar, thought he could use our tables without paying for anything, and then I bounced him. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. And then yeah. his... Uh, did he get... How did he take it? Well, he just left. It was just like whatever. I said, I, well, I don't give him... If I have to say... Did if, the chicks leave with if him? If it, yeah. If it's busy, I don't give you a second chance. I just go... If I tell you once, I go back and I say, you got to go. And then he goes, wow. okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Fair enough. His, okay. I think... Didn't his bodyguard try and kill him one night? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What? He had a bodyguard. He had a bodyguard that like broke into his home and tried to kill him, and he like huh. ran out front. It was he a had, crazy, like, crazy story. He was sort of known for how close he was with his body bodyguard. Yeah, they were like friends. They were friends, and it was this giant dude that was like six five, and he was just like a big, fat, strong dude. And uh, at some point, 
Spade woke up to getting tased. Mm-hmm. He woke up to getting tased. Damn, that would be scary. That was very. It's a. It's a crazy story. The fact that he Sorry, li- Spade. The, the fact that David Spade lived that night is amazing. Like David Spade killed it. Like he was. That was a crazy. He was, he's, <laughs> he was he, like Home Alone. He's, he's like, awesome. Got paint cans <laughs> yeah, on the yeah. He's, he's, like, he's, like, he's, like, yeah. he's got heating up the door and all. Yeah. <laughs> he, he jumped on a rope, full of kerosene, and slid down. <laughs> it actually was a crazy chase. Uh, and he, he had a shotgun that he ended up like pointing at the guy and getting him out of his house yeah. and stuff. That's yeah. cool. But so next question, I think. David Spade's a good guy. I, yeah. I, I love David Spade. Yeah. He's, I, I think I, he's Tommy funny. Boy's like my favorite. He's movie just hammered time. and he had two hot chicks, and he's like, yeah, who gives he's a like, shit? Yeah, I didn't blame him. Everybody has to go. go. She a little to go. You actually told him. To, you, yeah. knew, you knew it was him, too. I said, you got to go, You're bud. such a prick, dude. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> You're anti Hollywood. I love that, though. Because <laughs> there are so many places that would just let Spade do whatever the fuck in this bar. I treat him the way I treat a crackhead. Spade gets enough. Spade has gotten the world. Yeah. Relax. Next question. What does John genuinely think is the solution to the homelessness crisis? Sounds like he has a lot of insight on the day-to-day because uh, blah, blah, blah from Cole. Okay. The optics are going to be horrific, but you just give the sheriff's deputies or LAPD there, you give them fucking long, flexible rods. They won't kill you. They just make you. It hurts real bad when they hit you with them. And if you're mm-hmm. fucking homeless and you're acting out or something, they just whip you until you leave. And anytime you act like not a normal member of society, you get hit with those rods until you go somewhere else. And anywhere they congregate, you have guys there with rods. And then they just hit them and hit them and hit them until they have. Then eventually they go, well, I can't go anywhere because I'm crazy and homeless anymore. Else I get hit with bamboo rods. No, it'll take a year. Look, I can't go anywhere. I I can't go anywhere else. I get beat with bamboo rods. Fucking idea. Hey, hey, listen. Terrible bartender. Whatever, man. This is bad, dude. Like, yeah. So, like, somebody gets beat in Los Angeles. They're like, all right, I'm going to Phoenix. Go to Phoenix. That's how I saw the homeless crisis here. And then, like, whatever. They live there for a few months. They get beat in Phoenix. No, I don't want to get beat in Phoenix. I want to treat them well in Phoenix. This is LA's big revenge against Greyhound Therapy. Oh, you're saying LA beats everybody and the rest. Stay the fuck out of LA. So, send all the homeless guys out of Los Angeles. Yes. So, that's how you fix it in LA. Yeah. But I think this guy was That's all I care about. Like America. fucking LA. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Ride or die this fucking city. So kick yeah, them yeah, out. Yeah. Send them yeah. to Send other New York. Places. Fuck you. Right, I like that. I like a little yeah. LA pride. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> Biggest drink order to reveal that someone is an alcoholic from Kale. Oh, my Last fa- one was Kale as well. My favorite is when people, this guy came in, he ordered something called a black tooth grin. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And he said, oh, it's a shot of Jameson and then a shot of like Crown Royal with Coke and I said oh you just want to order a double Coke a double whiskey Coke without sounding an alcoholic here's, oh okay, that's, that's good that's good yeah. here's the thing I'll say this this is a subtle one I've witnessed yeah. it a lot at your bar it's just a simple white wine mm-hmm. when that white just, when that white woman walks up and she orders that white wine with no hesitation yeah. I, and I look at her and I go like, you've oh, been yeah. drinking this I for go, three days in a row I go she's got the shakes yep. and she, all oh, yeah. she does is drink white yeah, wine yeah yeah um, the white wine is a subtle one for women that's like that's like man that's like they're that's that's a, yeah. a huge sign yeah Joey People, you've been with me at the bar there's a lot of white women that oh, come yeah. there that are like getting on a train to go mm-hmm. back to San Diego and I'm like this bitch is hammered all yeah. the time it's, when they order at yes. 11 a.m. Yeah. if they fucking get a little Long Island iced teas uh, double whiskey, any double drink, uh, fucking people ask for triple shots, which I'm like, I don't do those. Uh, people, triple, what if somebody comes triple in, shots like they're at In and Out? They're like, I'll yeah. get the triple, triple, I'll get the triple, triple. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never do people, it. People asking for drinks and pint glasses. Look, like, can you give me a margarita and a pint glass? And I'm like, no, because they they think you're gonna give them yeah. more booze. Yeah. Like, or idiots. they go, or they get pissed off when I when I use a jigger to measure Don't out say the that. shots. Don't I you know say you're gonna that. make that. This joke. isn't gutter oil. When I, use, when I use the when I use the measuring thing to count out the shots, they get pissed off. Like, oh, what the fuck is this? You know, free pour. Like, I'm like, that's an alcohol. You what alcohol. If they're like, like the most sober looking businessman in the world. They're like, hey, I just got a raise. Can I get a triple? My first drink of the day. It, that's crazy. You don't do that. You don't do no. that. You you order. I go. A, you order a double. You order, and you can order, a, you order a double, and then you down it. You go another one. Yeah. And then and then it's fine. You're an alcoholic, yeah. but you're not. You're just maybe celebrating. I, I'm keeping, sure. tra- I'm keeping track. But of if how you much or- everyone's drinking. Yeah, John's right. If you time. order them all, fair, fair. if you order mm-hmm. it all at once, classic sign of an alcoholic. Yeah. Very fair. Next question. Mm-hmm. Who's the happiest bum? In Union Station. Oh, Something Tony. optimistic, please. Oh, Ricky. Ricky, from Lex. Ricky dude. Ricky. Ricky. Yeah, Give Ricky's Ricky. The man. Give Ricky's talk uh, about, Can you talk about Ricky? Ricky like, is, you, you were killing Ricky, me with stories the other Ricky night. Ricky is a baby man that uh, he's got to be in his 70s, and he hasn't been coming around lately. 
It's making me worried. What? Oh no. We were actually gonna. We were thinking about having him on the podcast. Yeah, I know. He's so fucking. But tell tell him about Ricky. He's Ricky, fine. Okay, he's fine. so Ricky is maybe in his seventies. Looks like an old baby. He walks around. He does. He's very cute. He's a cute cute man. He wears a security guard uniform, even though he's not a security guard because he it keeps people from fucking with him. Yeah, he's drunk. All he the time. always has a neon security fucking guard brilliant. thing over really him. Really smart. I've literally had to groom him into being a good customer because he used to get a double Jack and Coke and then just leave the bar, wander around L.A. with the double Jack and Coke. <laughs> with, with the glass with the drink. Glass. <laughs> and I'd have to yell at him. Yeah. I'm like, Ricky, bring the fucking glass. But the first time I met him, he stole a pint glass. He just left the pint glass. He yeah. had me put the Jack and Coke in a pint glass and left. But he's the sweetest, he's the, he's sweetest. The he's a little baby. He's, he's a little he's, child. He's the, like such a the fun. Best, he, the best way I've ever heard him described is this guy, this other regular said, it's as if Ricky's in the Matrix and he has a cheat code where he can have unlimited drinks. Yes. He is the more he drinks, the nicer he the gets. The nicer he gets. One yeah, time he's yeah. I was chilling at the bar and uh I think Devil was there again and uh he comes up and orders a drink from John and I can't do his voice, but he goes hey, buddy. He goes, Hey buddy. Hey, hey, buddy. He goes, he's from West Virginia. He's from the West Virginia. But he Kentucky also has border. like a mental He has he doesn't have a mind, yeah. he has a soundboard in his brain that has like eight sayings and yes. he says the same but, eight yeah, things. Yeah, but, says sayings. but here's how yeah. he ordered He goes, I'll take a like a I don't know the drink. He goes, I'll take a Jack and Coke and I'll take two of them just in case a girl comes. And then he like yes. winks at John. Yeah, he winks. And yeah. then he, he always goes he goes, uh he'll always he'll he has the soundboard <laughs> in his brain where he has the same eight things he says over and over again, but every like one once in a while, he'll come up with something that's utterly brilliant. That he just he came up to me the other day and he goes, he brings out a fucking electric shaver and he goes, buddy, can you keep this for me? They won't let me keep it at the shelter. You can have it. And he goes, you can shave your head. Your hair looks like shit. And I go, <laughs> but I go, Ricky, my girlfriend likes my hair. And he goes, she's lying, buddy. She's lying to you, buddy. He's like, why? <laughs> yes, yeah. real quick. He goes, he goes, yeah, oh, he goes, Johnny said you're retired. He goes, hey, but my, my favorite, <laughs> like Johnny thinks I'm retired. Ricky, Ricky buddy. his things. He'll come in. He'll go. <laughs> Johnny thinks I'm retired. <laughs> He, in his mind, he goes, Little does he know I'm a genius. <laughs> he, goes, he always comes and goes, I love you, Baba. I love you, buddy. Have a good night. He always says, have a good night to you. And then sometimes if he says, I love you, he'll go, I love you, buddy, as a friend. But he's currently he's missing. I, I need a fun Let's Ricky. ask for something optimistic. And you gave him the story of a missing homeless man who's got the <laughs> There's also mind Tony, of a who's baby. the guy Devin hates, who smells like piss in his wheelchair. But, well, who uh, was the guy hilarious. that called you? That's Michael. Michael's the best guy on Joey, earth. Ta uh, is John, ta dude. tell that Ricky story you told me like three weeks ago. The poo poo story? Yeah. You, That's you, the one? No, no. I don't, I don't know. You told me this like the most endearing, hilarious, ridiculous story ever about what? Ricky. I don't know. Do you man. remember it? Not really. What's your best? What's your me. big Ricky, Ricky, Ricky story? came in one time and he goes, buddy. I well, first of all, he does this thing where sometimes he comes in, sees me, and he's just so excited to drink, he jumps up and down. He does a dance. He That's the thing. He does a thing where he goes. He does like a jig. He goes like. He goes. <laughs> he's like a puppy. Like a little he's puppy. Like a puppy. Tail is wagging. Yeah. And then uh, he he came in. He came in one day and he looks at me and goes, buddy, I need to poo. And I go, Ricky, the bathroom's down there. He goes, okay, buddy. And then he leaves, and he comes back like 20 minutes later, and he goes, buddy, I done pooed. I'm being a good boy today. Let me get a double Jack and Coke. <laughs> <laughs> he's always got a, a, an excuse for why he yeah, needs the he's, second. He's honestly yeah. a phenomenal person. I love him so much. And whenever he hugs you, he puts his head up to you. Yeah, he, 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 he like leans head on your head. On he's your an shoulder. adorable man. He's a very, very sweet person. I love him. He's a fucking sweetheart. He looks exactly like yeah. the guy that organizes the Heist and rest for yeah. it. He <laughs> he's 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 Lawrence Tierney. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but he's got like a sweet little baby personality. No, I mean he's he's amazing. That guy. He's, that he's guy just next incredible. question. Hi, Joey. I would like to know John's process for creating my favorite cocktail in old fashioned. Thank you. Love the show. P.S. Does John not see any conflict of interest being both gay and the bouncer from Got Him Joe? Interesting. No, no conflict of interest there. Old fashioned is just. Ice, whisk, shot of whiskey, uh, simple Angus, syrup, Angus syrup bitters, and demimeris syrup, which is like a brown sugar syrup. Very good. Next one. What is the favorite drink of the homeless patrons from Nick? Uh, what is Bud, the most Bud, Light, Bud Lights make ultras. Bud Light. Yeah, is that the, like the, the cheap, cheapest thing? Yeah, it's yeah. Like the cheapest a, beer. Yeah. Yeah. Next question. What is the drink that the most positive winning in life people tend to order? And what is the drink? Or type of drink that the down, bad, depressed lunatics. So Bud Light, we know for the Bud for, Light, for the Long Island iced teas, AMFs are for losers. Fucking winners drink like uh, whiskey sodas. People uh, order AMFs at your bar. Yeah. 
What's I, make, an AMF? I make a really good AMF. Adios, motherfucker. AMF oh, is... Oh, yeah. John it's like, taught it's me like about that. It's like seven types of booze with like blue, I just, I just blue use, I just five shots it's in one. It's for retards that like go to like concerts I do vodka, shit. gin, dr- uh, rum, and then uh, triple sec, and then a uh, blue tr- blue curacao, and then I do uh, Sprite, and then um, I top it off with Luxardo. Cherry. You know, a very, a very popular drink by like the NPCs is a uh, spicy marg. Yep. Everyone orders yeah, a spicy, spicy marg. Yeah, well, we have really good spicy marg. They always kind of th- they, everyone orders a spicy marg. Yeah. Mm. They always kind of think like they're being like, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being like, they always kind of go, I'm being, I'm being a little crazy today. They, yeah. they go, ooh, la cucaracha. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's like white, white people love ordering spicy margaritas and then like speaking bad Spanish. Yeah. They're like, ooh, por favor, amigo. <laughs> gracias. Ooh, gracias. Gra- they hold it up. They go, gracias. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so, it's oh, so hard to watch. Yeah. Okay, next question. If John could only manage one bar for the rest of his life, would he choose to manage a gay bar, a biker bar, or a dairy bar from a man named 0010? <laughs> That's a tough one. Dairy bar or gay bar? It's only between those it's two. It's gay bar. That makes more money. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But what about all the sweet milk? What about all that milk, dude? What about that cream you're missing out on? You love milk. You, you, love you know milk. you want like luscious tits? No, no, it doesn't seem like a lot of money in that. Yeah. But milk is milk, better milk, than milk. His... Milk is it's worth its weight in gold. <laughs> 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 the milk. Think guys. about it. Think about it. Uh, it's gay bar. So much money in gay bars. Okay. Yeah. Say goodbye to all that milk. Next question. <laughs> Can you please explain to me why you don't dim the fucking lighting? We're trying to drown our retard? sorrow. Is that fucking retard? We're trying to drown our sorrow, not get a goddamn root canal from Wait, the Nick. Is that somebody that went to his bar? I think so. No, I think he, he comments whenever I post bit videos of the lighting or whatever. I don't know. Maybe he's gone to the bar. Uh, well, he can't. John can't. It's a. It's owned by. A I like to train see station. everything. How about that? No, no. Are you so, allowed? Are you allowed to dim the lights in there? Yeah. So you, you actually just, should. It we're actually supposed, to, we're supposed to dim the lights when happy hour starts, and usually I'm off by the time happy hour starts. It's the same That's reason. Uh, ADX Florence doesn't have dim lights. Yeah, you want to know what's going on. No, it's exactly. a, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a security. I don't want it to be too comfortable. It's a security risk if they dim the lights. If there. somebody's it's got like, a fucking shiv hidden in their palm, exactly. Yeah. Johnny wants no, to see. I don't think people quite understand, like, literally how dangerous this bar is that John works yeah. at. I've been there maybe a total of, of 25 times. 20? No, that's actually crazy. Uh, maybe 15. Maybe 15, yeah. And, uh, 10 10 of the 15 times there's like, there's like a really weird aggressive moment between like a crazy person that just got out yeah, of prison it's like a Star Wars or a homeless canteen. person I, it's I, a very difficult place I think to work it's more da- it's probably the most dangerous bar in Los Angeles I would say because it's yeah, it's a homeless shelter hub well, exactly like, even like in Skid Row the bars there are allowed to have security and like well, some we have people a bouncer now no so, and yeah. now you have a bouncer oh, really? but he kicks ass yeah. but I'm saying like at a at a private bar downtown they 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 can reject business they, but if somebody yeah. comes on a train like a homeless yeah. dude yeah. like what you can't fucking, no one knows what to say dude that's the exactly. thing I got a homeless guy today he comes in he's obviously like an addict he sits down I'm ready to bounce the guy and he's like, hey, can I have a, a Bud Light? And then he pays with a hundred dollar bill, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh, well, again, guy gets a Bud Light. Sure, yeah, no, I mean, I, I've I've sat there at the bar of uh, three times, and like literally, somebody comes up speaking in tongues next yeah. to me. And it <laughs> smells like like smells horrible, yeah. and but but they have money. People somehow. weapons coming in. I had the one with a baseball bat just come in and sit down you, next to you. Remember that? Yeah, that lady. Yeah, <laughs> and you asked you asked her to like kind of please like just. Kind I said of she away. kept she kept talking. She just kept talking to herself, and I said, ma'am, you have to stop talking. To yourself. She's sitting at the bar next to me. She orders a white wine and she just starts going like motherfuckers fucking what's your power motherfuckers for fucking half an hour but you have to tell those people they have to stop talking to themselves because it's like you're not being a person I think she was on the way to softball practice alright next question two more questions we're almost done don't try to moderate the corners alright sorry next question how many twinks do you think you could fight before succumbing and eating out their sweet, sweet asses from Jack. Actually, answer how many tweaks could you beat in a fight? Like five twinks versus one, or what do you Dude, think? I think I I think I could fight like eight twinks at once. How do you see it going down? They're Dude, spring- I'm turning their faces into fucking mush. So you're just That's swinging. I'm swinging. I'm taking I'm, I'm throwing them. I'm throwing them. Let me just say, okay, so one twink runs at you, you clock him. I'm throwing him. 
So you grab him? Yeah. What now is a twink, twink weigh? 120 grabs your pounds? Leg. Yeah, but another one grabs your leg. Knee to the face. Fucking kick him. You're punching a knee at punching. the same time? I'm doing fucking crazy shit, dude. I'm like fucking... And now, but now there's eight twinks? Eight twinks? One's on your back. Well, two on your deal. leg. Once they see what I do to the first twink, they're going to have fear in their eyes. That's a good point. Yeah, once they see what what happens to the twinks that come at me, the brave... When they see what happens to the brave twink, they're going to get a little scared. And then they're going <laughs> to start, start wigging out. That's a good fucking yeah. point. That's a good a fucking boy. That's <laughs> question. What are John's thoughts on the great John Taffer of Bar Rescue from Cali? He's a fucking retard. I like, I like John Taffer. He's, he's funny. Right. He's funny, but he's like ruined bars. Like there's this one episode where he went into this place. It was like a beloved heavy metal bar. And he's like, the new theme is Cuban Revolution. <laughs> it was like the worst. Why'd you make them all gay? <laughs> and also, also the fucking drinks. I mean, the movies, all the shows are made in like the 2000s. But he's kind of right stuff. about that Cuban shit. We've gone to like three bars in our. In our in, yeah. in, he in, knows uh, the in trend. There's, 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 like, there's like three bars on the east side of LA. Apparently now. a lot of those bars go under. Even when he goes after he goes in there. Well, okay. What is it? What is the car? The well, show he's he does not bar a rescue. fucking miracle bar worker. He can't. He can't make yeah, every not. single bar successful. But he he is correct about that Cuban shit because I've noticed there's been a pop up of Cuban it was themed right. uh, so bars doing, around here. Like yeah, he John, we just went to a Cuban. You stole a bartender from a Cuban themed bar recently. Oh yeah, Bolita. So John so, hates yeah. Taffer for no reason. Next question. How many people have you given a bar mat shot? I'll hang up and listen from Joe. No, but there was a guy who... Uh, Wait, what is that question? A bar mat so you know shot? The, you know those like rubber bar mats? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. like apparently you can pour shots in through All them. All the liquid that gets caught oh, that's in that's disgusting. People yeah, ask so for that. This it's guy, like the this American guy, Chewy. This guy came in one time and he was like, just give me a shot of anything. And I just put the glass on the table and then poured all the liquid into the glass. And hand, it was, he laughed. He thought it was funny, but because nobody, nobody actually, thinks about it. He didn't that. actually drink it. No, 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 right, no, right. no. People do that though in like crazy college bars. I when I was in Atlanta, we would do uh, nose shots. We would go to different bars. Like I was with that crazy bartender. We go to different bars and be like, "Hey, give me a shot of whiskey." And they put a shot of whiskey down, and we take a straw and then suck it through our nose. And or, and people be like, "What the fuck?" Mm. It sucked. Little snooze. No. Dear John, if you served a female patron multiple drinks and she proceeded to reveal to you that she was five months pregnant after, how would you handle that situation? From Joseph, oh, you keep serving. I think you have to keep serving him drinks. Really? Yeah. Their, it's their decision. Yeah, I think. I think they've it, already fucking fucked the kid. Yeah. The kids. The, hey, that kid's having yeah. a. That kid's hammered already. That, I think that, it, that, that dude. I've is done. Hammered. I've done really bad. Like fucking dudes coming in, being like, "Hey, I'm, I'm relapsing today." Like after they've had their drink, and I just gotta keep. Yeah. What are you supposed drink. to do? What you do know? you mean you? Why? Why can't you say no? Because it's discrimination. Because the guy's not yeah, discrimination. Hammered. It's, isn't that a public? Also, so the relapse guy. I think you're only allowed to turn people away if they're, if they're causing a problem. Pregnant women, yeah. you can't. Turn away? I don't know. I that's the question in the, all the his bar. bosses would probably get on him about that. No, they wouldn't. No I, I one's think, gonna harass you about that. Is that is it, yeah, I don't know. Is that a law? Like, are, what if, if somebody remember, tells you they're relapsing that day? Are you? Are I you, bet you it's I think one of those. Supposed to serve them. Okay, I think it's on. one of those things that you could take uh, to the Supreme Court, and they would have to be like, "Well, it's a." It comes down to like the same sort of argument that like abortion comes down. It goes to, it goes to the Supreme Court. That is something that would go to the Supreme Court because they would go a like, guy that says he's yeah. relapsing that day, and you no, serve the, him. The, the, the uh, pregnant yeah, lady. There's oh, no the law. There's no federal laws that restrict pregnant women from using alcohol. There's no actual law. They're allowed to do what they want. People smoke with kids. But is there a law against not serving them? Yeah. That's well, what discrimination. Is discrimination. Discrimination. Because when they're I, pregnant, if, it's the yeah. same as them being, like, black. No, or but, having but then, one arm. But yeah. then why isn't it discrimination to cut somebody off who's, like, blackout drunk and falling over? Because, because then they're, they're becoming a, cause, a, they're because a they're, safety they're, issue. Yeah, they're becoming a safety this issue. This is yeah. a safety issue. Getting yeah, a pregnant know, lady right? hammered. But that's, know, that is right? a personal safety issue. Yeah. Uh, a drunk person becomes a public safety issue. If the pregnant hurt woman started people. being belligerent, then I could cut her off. Yeah, exactly. That's odd to me. I don't know. That's a great question. That's an interesting question. That's a really good question. That's actually, this guy must work at a bar or something because he's thought about that. That's I've a, never considered that. I've never considered that. that either. That's a legit conundrum. Yeah. yeah. I think, I, w I would say don't do I would not do it. I would rather not do it. Either. I wouldn't yeah. do it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. You would do it. But if my bosses were breathing down my neck, I'd be like, whatever. No, I would be like, fuck it. I'll, I'm, I'm not going to work at a job where I'm getting fucking... I uh, mean, listen, you know, Biggie sold crack to pregnant women. It's like, what are you supposed to do? He it's was a job. gang member. He wasn't a gang member. He just sold crack. He's, yeah, he was committing crimes. Sold, sold crack John commits cr legal crimes. He feeds people poison for a yeah, living. Yeah, you're only a gang member if you're doing illegal crimes. 
crimes with a group of other people gang. doing uh, illegal he's crimes. He's a criminal. Doesn't mean you're a gang member. No, he was in a gang. Big, I think he had to be in a gang to sell crack. Yeah. Bro. You think he was like the only independent was, crack yeah, dealer like, in the city? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I'm not quite sure that Kevin doesn't just, understand black people. I don't think he was in a gang where he had to like kill a rival Last gang. Last final members. question. Oh, we didn't ever know what the hell. He was in a gang for sure. I'm going to look it up right now. I don't think Biggie was in a gang. He just sold crack. All right, what's the question? Biggie produced and uh, created his own crack independently, according to Devin. Insane. I kind of want to stall this the only, The only uh, ties he had to gang members was that he employed Crips as security guards. So he was in the Crips. No, you. he employed... <laughs> Security They're guards good. are often in a gang. How did he know the Crips? I wonder. Maybe because he grew up selling crack for them. Anyways, last last question. Devin's serious serious. <laughs> question for the pod. Serious question for the what? pod. What? Page ready, YouTube. As a bartender, have you ever gotten close to a fight with a customer from Gonzo? That's the last yeah. question. Oh, yeah. A guy almost knifed him like a month ago. Let's yeah. hear about this. Okay, well, I've gotten actually up. physical with one guy, and then uh, this guy was just doing everything he possibly could to fight me, and he had a knife on his hip. And he I was kept calling you faggot. Oh, dude, call me yeah. a faggot a million times. Called people in the bar like, it was crazy racial words and shit, but you got it. But yeah, I just I was waiting for him to like swing on me. Basically. How did the fight start? And was, I know we're I was, I was on my, I was on. My, I knew there were only women in the bar working. I was on my lunch break and I was eating a burger. And then my coworker comes in and she's I've known her since I was like 15 years old. She comes and goes. There's a guy puking in the trash can at the bar, and I go, "Is he still doing it?" And she goes, "Yes." I get up. I was so pissed off. I was finishing my burger on the way over there. And he's I see him sitting down. He's got tears in his eyes because he's done, done puking. And he has a gray goose martini in front of him. And I just grab the martini and put it on the bar. And I go, you have to go. And uh, he uh, he got so pissed off at me. Uh, the um, What do you look like? He was, a sh he was a fat Mexican dude. Tattoos? No, he was just an unhinged person. He was crazy. Person. John's got video crazy. of it. We but, uh, play it there was another time. guy who tried to run behind the bar, and I picked him up and threw him out the front door, basically. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell That's yeah, sick. dude. Thanks, guys. Hell yeah. yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Uh, this has been a great... I think one of our best episodes. It's a really good episode. It's a yeah. great episode. And uh, so patreon.com slash Haywatch podcast. I see Joey's face. Yeah, he's acting like, oh, he's, he's like remembering the bad song I did. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Do another song about how bad the song was or how well, I'm disappointed. he did a shitty song. <laughs> and then his friends looked at him with shame. <laughs> And then they proceeded to talk about it for 30 fucking minutes. They ruined the entire segment because friendship, shame comes first. <laughs> oh, you don't think about the show you're doing when you've been friends with people for so long. Sometimes you forget this is a performance-based <laughs> medium and people talk during your song. <laughs> He's apologizing. Because they're your best friends and maybe they don't quite get how this works because they're so naturally funny. And at the Thank end you. of the day, that just what goes on because it's three gay men it's three gay men doing a show and we all know John will eat all these cookies later I'm gonna eat one I'm gonna eat one oh man redeemed himself 